Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Subscribe to No Rolls Bard and welcome to Quizzlemania 45, the showcase of the Amorons, the greatest spectacle in all of sports infotainment. I am Adam Hailing from Parts of Unknown. You already know that, but this is a very special episode of Quizzlemania because striding with sanguine sophistication, striving to straddle the summit of substanceless, sweaty, skirmish statistics, a sexy squad of self-assertive sports speculators, a substantial suite of sonorous, sinewy, sagid, straining and scrapping for superiority. It's four buggers whose name begin with S, starting with the stupendous Sullivan Bo Brown. Hello, hello. It's so lovely to be here. Oh. It's so lovely to have you. Subscribe yeah, to No you. Rolls Bard, where you can Please. see yes. Sully every week. Yes. Uh, hi, Sully. Um, so you, where, where are you broadcasting from today, Sullivan Bo Brown? I'm broadcasting from New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, and it is always hot. It's very hot. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are looking a shade pinker than usual, old boy. Yes. I had one walk, and that was it. That was enough. <laughs> That was it for me. I'm done. Uh, but what a lovely time outside it was. Uh, I'm here for Mardi Gras. It's going to be great. You are spending some time on the swamp with your swamp girlfriend, Yay! Brooke Bourgeois, who you can swamp. also see every week on No Rolls Bard. Subscribe to No Rolls Bard. Uh, when's Mardi Gras, Sally? Uh, it's on uh, not this. Is it, is it coming Tuesday? It's on a Tuesday. It's one of the Tuesdays. It's a Tuesday. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll be there. That's all I know. I'll be there. <laughs> uh, can't remember which Tuesday it is. I think it's the next one. I think. Have you done any uh, stip uh, typically English tourist things abroad? Do you walk around with sort of like a completely tan safari suit, uh, mm -hmm. asking very loud uh, questions at the top of your voice, saying, "What do you mean you ain't got any chips?" Like, what's what are you doing on holiday at the moment, Sally? Well, at the moment, uh, I'm I'm uh, begging every cafe in uh, all of America to supply with me, me with tea, and uh, and and thus far, I've actually coffee? done pretty well. Uh, oh, you I'm... mean you want a coffee? No, no, sir, no, sir. I want a lovely tea, a lovely tea, and I don't want it cold and sweet. I want it hot and bitter. Yes, <laughs> I like my women. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? <laughs> That was stupid. <laughs> yeah, that was great, though. Oh, <laughs> what does cold and sweet mean? That's great. Cold. Oh, anyway, yes. Um, brilliant. Brilliant. Yes, I've had a lovely time. And actually, the American tea, except for when they put creamer in it, that's disgusting, uh, has been great. My, obviously, um, there's a question that I think everyone watching this show is going to be asking, which is, what the fuck is that behind you with the black handle? Uh, um... That's an old-timey vacuum cleaner, that is. Oh, yes. It's an old-timey, old-timey New Orleans vacuum cleaner. It's got a hand uh, crank and everything. <laughs> okay, just got to crank it up and away it goes. That's how they do it down in the south. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, wonderful stuff wonderful stuff uh obviously uh what people will probably be wanting to know is because you have very limited travel uh space in your luggage i am assuming sock puppet sullivan did not make the journey to new orleans you know what this is this is very silly but no I... sullivan you didn't <laughs> Right, okay, so I brought him into the Russell Talk offices, obviously, and, and I packed him in my bag, and then I didn't look in my bag, and he's still, he's with me, he's with me here. I haven't got him on me right now, but I'll go and get him while you introduce the other people. Oh, but no. He, but he followed me here, he followed me here. He's everywhere. He will never <laughs> die. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but he's accidentally there. Oh, it's ridiculous, ridiculous. Brooke even said, "Did you did you pack the sock puppet?" And I was like, "Of course, of course I didn't. Why would I pack a sock puppet? I'm going to America. I don't need a sock puppet." <sighs> well, you have to go now, Sullivan. We've chatted yes. for far too long. Uh, but what channel should people subscribe to if they enjoy uh, you and board game related content? No Ros Bard. It's very fun and very silly. And there's loads of us at the moment because we've got Lord of the Board going on. Oh, I love huge, that. Huge stakes. Huge stakes. Thank you so much, Sullivan. Always a pleasure to see the lad. Next up, one half of Mocker Mondays. You may you may remember him. It's the one and only, the studly 
Sat Niangi. Hello, Sat. Did I lose the E, guys? Did I lose the E like I lost Wrestling Daily? I don't know. <laughs> hey, Adam, thanks for bringing me on. I haven't well, been relevant in two months. Oh, that's not true, Sat. You were very relevant at the Royal Rumble. I mean, I, you did you did atrociously, but hey, that is not the point. You 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 were there, and you were very charming indeed. Let's talk about the jam for a second. You were mm -hmm. there when I offered Luke. Yeah, actually, so Luke was against Saudi Arabia, the Elimination Chamber. I said I'll be interim champion. He said, "Oh, we don't do that." And all of a sudden, Oli motherfucking Davis is the interim <laughs> jam that champion. I'm sorry, I need it more. He's the boss, man. I don't have a show, guys. My partner is threatening to kick me out of the house if I don't win anything. I lost the jamble. I lost the show. I need to win Chrismania. It was my birthday last Saturday. My birthday oh. wishes to win. And, and guess this. Apparently, Sully's over. It's Sully mania. And he's got a sock puppet. So I've been studying him. And guess what, guys? I got Mr. Sato! <laughs> Sat, oh sat, no, oh sat, look at what you've become. You're desperate. I need to remain relevant. You know, Roman Reigns talks about the island of rele relevancy. Part of unknown is parked in the middle of the island of relevancy. Each time I appear on your show, I get more followers. Follow me! <laughs> Don't embrace the puppet, sat. Never embrace the puppet. It will take over your life. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. Hang on. Hello. <laughs> oh, God, I can't believe it. It's so, it's so nice to meet you. Hello. How you doing, Gaff? How you doing? WrestleMania one on one. Suck puppet in the pole match. <laughs> Sort of puppet on a foot match. It'd be great. I'm pretty holy today. I'm catching church on the side because I'm holy. All right. That's a load of stupid bollocks, and I love it. Thank you so much, Sam. Have a wonderful time. Uh, next up, the other half of the former Mocha Mondays. Please welcome the sultry SP3. Hello, sir. Welcome back to the show. Oh no, you're muted. I'm you're, happy. You're... Oh, sorry. I'm I was I was laughing hysterically off camera, so I had I was just in case you put me on while I was laughing. I muted myself, but I'm mad that I have to follow that. That we just had a <laughs> a sock puppet <laughs> promo off, and I want to know why Sat sock puppet sound his voice is so loud. Like I, I I I know they say black people are louder, but damn, not even the socks too. The socks too. <laughs> I, I I guess so, man. Like uh, obviously what, what sock puppet have you brought for us today? Um well I'm SP3, so it can mean sock puppet three. So I'm a human sock, sock puppet, puppet three. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm, a I'm a human sock puppet in the place to be. So <laughs> already, already. I've already won the sock puppet award here. You know, this is my sock puppet award. It's a it's Very a nice. basketball man on top because I jumped through hoops and I'm here to jump through the glass ceiling <laughs> and win Quizlemania. Oh, it's a lovely promo. Um, so obviously you've been on the show before. You're no stranger to the show before. Is there any rounds that you're hoping for? Uh, I'm hoping to sing because you yourself said I'm the best singer that has been on Quizlemania. My, my Sean Rossap has even said it, the champion. My my rendition of Drew McIntyre's Broken Dreams is is all timers on the singing round. So that's what I'm hoping for. All right. Well, who's to say whether or not it'll be here? Uh, finally, what's your what's your tactics for taking down Sean? Sean is on a little bit of a of a kind of Brock Lesnar style run. I like maybe a Roman Reigns style run, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, he seems unstoppable. How are you going to stop him? Well, I mean, Sean is on a run on Quizzlemania at reporting. He's breaking all the major news. I'm, I'm literally doing news writing now, and I'll have to write everything that Sean reports. So he is, he is big time. But I have a secret. I actually have intel on one of his reports because I am related to Stone Cold Steve Austin. So. So Stone Cold said, I need to open up a can of whoop ass on his on his country, Kentucky ass. And that's what I'm going to do, because that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold SP3 says so. <laughs> 
Uh, amazing. Thank you so much, SP3. Welcome to the show. And finally, we've had stupendous Sully. We've had Studley sat. We've had sultry SP3. Please welcome Super Bowl runner-up, which is just a fancy word for loser. It's Sean Ross. Ah! Oh, he, oh, he said, where, shut the fuck up for a little bit. Uh, he's <laughs> signing where? Oh. <laughs> well... Okay, we'll have Sock Ross Sap report no, that one here in a God moment. Almighty. Oh, listen, listen, you say you say Roman Reigns run, Brock Lesnar run. It's been like two years and I just win all the time, right? Yeah, like two you really years. do. I think it's more of a Rob Van Dam run. I mean, he <laughs> he and I are so much alike. We smoke big fat blunts, we like big asses. People have seen our movies the exact same number of times. Uh the two year <laughs> run. We got the SRS RVD thing, you know, all that. But listen, I, for, for years I did, you know, the, the cursing and all of that with with the out fuck everyone. And the, yeah, yeah. Fuck I, that fuck. I got I, one for you. You're looking at the whole effing fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> the effing is already. Never mind. The ne whole <laughs> effing fuck. That's stupid, Sean. Another it's great. gimmick. <laughs> Ollie, make the shirt. You've lost your mind since the Bengals lost the Super like, Bowl, you, haven't you? Do it like an airbrush gimmick with it. Like, that's what I need. And Ollie should sell airbrushed whole effing fuck SRS singlets. <laughs> we probably will for like a week and then we'll stop doing it. Uh, Sean, uh, we, we do need to talk about your 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 run here. Let's let's bring it back to sports if we can for just a second. Sure. Uh it's it's insane. Like I think this is possibly the longest championship run, maybe. I for... mean, if if you count Tempest, the the, the run. <laughs> the run. <laughs> it's like it's like when CM Punk said that Bruno would show up once every three months in the garden and defend the title. That was Tempest run. And even then, after I won it, you all were like, let's get that back on Tempest. Don't know why. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, Ollie gets on the phone on those 7 a.m. calls. You know, I'd really like viewership to be low <laughs> so we could justify doing this once every three months. Stay humble. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, obviously, I, I've done my best to, to rig this against you, as I always do, which you point out helpfully to our <laughs> yeah. audience. Uh, but I will say, in terms of trivia to party games, this is by far, you're in the most danger this, this Give month. Give it to me. I'm ready to guess people's wieners and everything. I'm, I'm ready for it. <laughs> Well, that's it. It's just gonna, I watch, whose dick is this? Buddy, I watch HBO every day. All I see is wieners now. That's the only <laughs> thing on that on that channel. Such a prestige television. All right, Sean, go away for a little bit. Welcome, everyone. We're going to get started very, very shortly. But speaking of things that begin with S, this episode of Quizomania is sponsored by Surfshark, a wonderful VPN, which everyone in WrestleTalk uses. It's actually really nice to be able to talk about a product that you actually like. That is helpful. Uh, it does great things. Speaking of HBO, what a tee up, Sean. I watch HBO Max via Surfshark because it is great. Got to get that dick in your life, but don't just take my word for it. Take my word for it. At Quizlemania, we believe in three things. Wrestlers' nipples, Adam never gets anything wrong as host, and the big business can get their grubby overlord hands off our IP address. And that's why we'd like to thank Surfshark VPN for sponsoring Quizlemania in 2022. Surfshark believes you have the right to privacy when you browse online, freeing you from the burden of targeted ads that keep thinking I'm pregnant for some reason, region lock content like HBO Max, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, or unsecured connections when you're out and about doing whatever it is you do. We really honestly don't want to know Know what it is that you do you're all disgusting surfshark has over 3200 servers in more than 60 countries all secured with end-to-end -end encryption so whether you're ollie davis going on your eighth gap year but still wanting to watch uk tv luke wanting to protect his computer from malicious websites while he hunts for godzilla slash fiction or pete trying to remain hidden from the chinese government because of what he did for legal reasons we can't talk about what pete did surfshark vpn has you covered with its host of technical features take control of your internet usage today and try Surfshark VPN whilst also supporting Quizlemania in 2022 by going to surfshark.deals forward slash jamnatjam and enter promo code jamnatjam for 83% off and three months for free. That's surfshark.deals forward slash jamnatjam. Enter promo code jamnatjam for 83% off and three months for free. 
Let's start the game, everybody. Let's welcome SP3, Sat, and Sean. And holy fuck, Sullivan's just vanished from the lobby. Oh, dear. Sully? <laughs> Sully? He's not here. All right. Um, so, which one of you killed him? <laughs> which one of you horrible Americans Sully. did him in? It was, oh, it was you, <laughs> Mr. Sat. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> he literally just disappeared before the ad finished. He's gone now. I d uh, call an that's, audible. That's probably my I top guess. competition on this particular brand too. Ha so very sus, Sean. Very sus, my boy. Um, right. Well, we're going to uh, wait for Sully to come back. Hi. Because. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm grooming him to take your spot, Sean. <laughs> it's very oh, important. Man. I would hate to I would hate to have two free hours on a Wednesday afternoon. That would be like the oh, worst possible thing. Shut up, Sean. This is the happiest between, you, know, you are. I don't all know. Night. Between breaking these fightful select stories about a free agent that's backstage at AEW Dynamite and breaking the news that Swerve Strickland signed with AEW. <laughs> What could we possibly find to take up time until Sully is back? I don't know. Maybe people could just steal their mother's credit cards and subscribe to FightfulSelect.com. And hey, listen, if you use Surfshark, it'll still just be $5. How about that? Oh, how how about how about how about we get some. into a few a few plugs? How about that like, while we wait for like Sully getting to reconnect? Greg Cherry and Quizzlemania? Yes, how about Greg we Cherry get into a few plugs? <laughs> I am I I, I won't do, I won't be bullied. I won't be cajoled. God damn you all! You can do the chat, champion, Greg Cherry. Eight oh, sorry, come back. You could sorry, do the come. chats, couldn't you? Like, what, what are we doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a very there good point. Is. Matthew Maitai says, job. super glad Quizomania is like fucking hell. Sullivan, Jesus ah. Christ. <laughs> Literally, as soon as the Surfshark ad started, it went, all right, I'm not doing the Wi-Fi thing anymore. Uh, so I've moved to a room that's closer to the Wi-Fi. Here we go. Bloody hell. Oh, New Orleans, eh? It's lovely, but... Bloody oh, New Orleans, eh? Jesus <laughs> yeah. Christ. Uh, right, uh, Matt. <laughs> I started your, your ultra chats, so I'll finish it. Super glad Quizomania is back. The Daily Boys, Sat and SP3 are back in effect. SRS is FTFing hard way, but of course I'm rooting for my boy Sully to finally win the big one, because why not? He's half Irish and he's not having your bullshit. Hashtag kill Johnny Bollocks, kill. Uh, and now we have the ultimate dream team of big boy Sat and cuddly bear Sully, chocolate nips and Irish cream. Lost insatiables to parts fun known. 444 life. Let them have the next tag title shot against Sean and the unofficial Nick Gage of Quizzlemania RJ Listen, City. I, who says RJ's got to be my partner? I was the star of that operation. Maybe I want to start the sock and sap connection. Oh, oh God. Which one oh. at this point? All of them. Sock and sap connection. <laughs> well, it's good. I sock in the next room, so, so it's going to be sap at the moment. <laughs> I'm like the aging relevant. star that that's hitching my wagon to the up and comer <laughs> to stay relevant. That's what <laughs> Rick Flair hanging around with Randy Orton. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, well, seeing as you're all warmed up and like to talk, let's start with our first round, shall we? One minute. Warning! Uh, this is a lovely little uh, party game that we Brits call Just a Minute, where I'm going to ask you to talk for just a minute about a subject. However, I'm going to ask you to talk without repetition, deviation, or hesitation. What do I mean by that? Repetition, repeating words that aren't in the subject. For example, if I said, Sully, you must talk about my biggest wrestling friend. You can say biggest wrestling and friend and my, obviously, you can repeat those words, but other words you can't repeat. But we're not going to pick you up on stuff like and because we're not dicks. What do I mean by deviation? It means talk about the subject. If you don't, you can be penalized for that. And don't hesitate. Don't go, uh, don't leave a big pause. You could drive a bus through. If someone breaks one of these rules, you can buzz in by saying your own name. Uh, at that point, you can say challenge. I'll ask you what your challenge is. Hesitation. And if it's correct, I will not only give you the control of the subject, but I will give you one point as well. If you are speaking, when the one minute buzzer goes off, you'll get three points. Lots of points on 
offer. And seeing as this is his home turf, Sully, we're going to have you go first. Do I have any questions from the panel about how to play this game? I think you've all played it before. I haven't. I've never played it. But I've seen it. I'm terrified of it. So yeah. Excellent. Oh, Use the fear. Use that fear. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, Sullivan. I'm going to ask you to talk for one minute, if you can, about this subject, which is my first WrestleMania. Ooh. All right, so you can repeat my first and WrestleMania, but no deviation, no hesitation, no repetition. Talk for one minute, if you can, about my first WrestleMania. Fingers on buzzers, everyone, if he makes a mistake. Starting now. I grew up as a child without the ability to buy pay-per-view video. Sean. Oh, fuck. Sean. <laughs> Hesitation. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Sully immediately came apart. That is one point to Sean. You have control of the subject. You have 52 seconds left to talk about my first WrestleMania starting now. Growing up, I didn't get to watch many pay-per-views myself. So my first real WrestleMania that I was able to watch was WrestleMania 12 featuring Roddy Piper hitting gold dust with a goddamn vehicle. SP3. SP3. <laughs> <laughs> that was voluntary. That was just like, and I'm done. I yield the rest of my time. I've got nothing uh, else yes. to Let's say that's brilliant. What more could uh. you say? Uh, <laughs> a, a, a pause you could drive a goddamn vehicle through. Yeah. Uh, SP3, you have a point for a correct challenge. You have control of the subject. 32 seconds on the clock to talk about my first WrestleMania starting now. My first WrestleMania that I remember was WrestleMania 8. I got it on VHS. It was from Indianapolis. And the main event was my namesake, Sid Justice versus Hulk Hogan. And Papa Shango Sean. missed his cue. Sean? Hesitation. You know what, Sean? I'm not going to give that to you. Okay. It was a very okay. slight stumble, but it I'm was. not going to. I'm going to. There needs to be a little bit of I mean, you know, considering I had here. to tell the panel. <laughs> uh, guys i'm Ooh. hesitating help, help me <laughs> you know what it's, it, it's a slight stumble but Fair. i do not count it as hesitation but sp3 i will be watching you you have 16 seconds and remember sp3 you can't repeat anything you've said in previous attempts uh so be careful when talking about sid justin holt hogan you've already said those words uh but you have 16 seconds on the clock to talk about my first wrestlemania starting now the guy that missed Q was known as Godfather later on in his career. And then the Ultimate Warrior came down and he went crazy, celebrated with Hulk Hogan, someone that he doesn't like Sean. at all. John. Hulk Hogan. Repetition of Hulk Hogan, I'm afraid. I'm so sorry. One point to Sean. Oh, you slippery bastard. With three seconds left to go on the clock, Sean. Talk about my first WrestleMania starting now. The Ultimate Warrior squashed Hunter Hearst Helmsley in a one-sided match. That is time. Three points to S-R-S. -S. The Bring whole effing fuck. <laughs> oh, I hate it. <laughs> oh, I, oh, it rustles my Jimmy Sean Ross Sapp. Uh, next up. Sat. No, it, no. It, it, Sat. Sat, it's you. It's you, Sat. <laughs> Sat, it's you. All right. Are you ready, Sat? Is the sock ready? Good point. <laughs> Good point. All right. So, Sat, I'm going to ask you to talk for one minute without he uh, hesitation, repetition, or deviating from the subject. One minute to talk about the nation of domination. 60 seconds on the clock to talk about the nation of domination starting now. The nation of domination started in the year 1996. It consisted of Farouk. Sean has Just Farouk. Farouk. That was it. Just Farouk. <laughs> just famously, just, just Farouk. <laughs> crashed. Farouk. <laughs> Farouk. Farouk and friends. Like Garfield and friends. Um, Sean, 
you have 51 seconds to talk about the nation of domination. Start. You have a point as well. Well done. Starting now. SP3. SP3? I can't hear him. Yep, hesitation. <laughs> Absolutely. One okay, point yeah. to you. I had myself <laughs> muted. Yeah, that's a good one. That's Absolute good one. hesitation. <laughs> That's yeah, quite a good way to go around it, you know. <laughs> nice, but but now you all are going to listen to <laughs> the microphone all day. Uh, SP3, you have a point for a correct challenge. Jesus Christ. You have a point for a correct challenge. 47 seconds on the clock to talk about the Nation of Domination starting. No. The Nation of Domination featured Farouk Hassan, uh, Kama Mustafa, the Sean. godfather. Sean. Uh, hesitation. Also, he got Farouk's name wrong. All right. Look, Sean, I didn't give it to you last time. It's Farouk Assad. So I'm going to give it. You know what? I'll give you hesitation and deviation. Why not? Uh, you got one point, Sean. Uh, is your mic on? <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. 40 seconds on the clock to talk about the Nation of Domination starting now. Although most people remember the Nation of Domination starting in the World Wrestling Federation, it actually started in the USWA and had PG-13, which was JC Ice and Wolfie D, but also had Sir Muhammad, Baracus, Shaquille Ali, Queen Moesha, Elijah, Kareem Olajuwon, a whole lot of people that you guys have never heard of, even though one of them was actually in the Brawl for All. However... They did eventually show up in the company up north where Savio Vega, Crush, Mark Henry, Ahmed Johnson, Kama Mustafa, the Godfather, formerly known as Papa yeah, Shango. That is very well played. That very well played. Bloody brilliant. <laughs> can't, ar can't argue with that, lads. Yep, Cannot yep. argue with that. Akeem Olajuwon from the Houston Rockets was in the Nation of Domination. Kareem Olajuwon. Oh, I thought I heard Akeem Olajuwon, but I, I, Olajuwon. I, I, I wasn't sure, so I let it slide. I didn't, slide, I didn't say deviation. <laughs> All right. Uh, SB3, you are next at bat, and you are talking about the sexiest Vince McMahon moment. Uh, you have 60 seconds on the clock to talk about the... Se I, I'm just going to... I'm going to get... Yeah, the sexiest Vince McMahon moment uh, without hesitation, repetition... Or deviating from the subject. 60 seconds on the clock, SB3, starting now. When I think at night and I sleep and I think about the sexiest Vince McMahon moment, I think when I saw Vince Sean, pale. John. Repetition, think. Yeah, that was three times. All right, Sean, one <laughs> point. An unstoppable juggernaut. Um, 50 seconds on the clock to talk about the sexiest Vince McMahon moment. I dread to say this, but your time starts now. Yeah, I'd rather not. One of you guys can chime in for hesitation now. SB3. Sullivan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sully. Like, like it's, it's right there, Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't do well in the heat, this lad. Uh, uh, SB3, uh, what, are you, what are you challenging for? For, for hesitation. Yep, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> One point. <laughs> the alley oop hesitation, actually. <laughs> you, you could uh, argue a Kareem Olajuwon level dunk on that one if you're in the Nation of Domination in the USWA in 1996. Clyde Drexler All right. Was also there too. 44 seconds on the clock to talk about the sexiest Vince McMahon moment starting. Three, two, one, a go. Sexiest Vince McMahon moment was when I saw his pale, ghostly ass. Sean. <laughs> Sean. Hesitation. Absolutely not. That is that is ridiculous. How Come dare on. you? Come on. You, he, you buzzed in as soon as he said ass. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I buzzed in as soon as he hesitated describing the ass. No, sure. Also, no, I'm, is that not? No. Vince McMahon does not have a pale ass. It is incredibly tan. That is deviation. Uh, I yeah. think that's. De yeah. I think you're deviating there. Yeah. Maybe I'm. Maybe you know what? Maybe it's just the nostalgia in me thinking that he's got <laughs> toastier buns than no. I remembered. He's going to the best keister. That's right, the Kiss My Ass Club. It was a pale moon rising, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, fair. Uh, SP3, I have given you a point for an incorrect challenge by Sean Ross Sapp. You have 36 seconds on the clock to talk about the sexist Vince McMahon moment starting now. 
Many people kissed his ass, including Jim Ross, Shawn Michaels, Shane McMahon. It all started, though, with William Regal, who went on to become NXT general manager, Raw general manager, European champion, intercontinental champion. And Sean. None of that. Sean. Yeah. Deviation. Ooh. Deviation? Deviation. We uh, well, yeah. I mean, is this about Vince McMahon's sexiest moment? Or are we reading off William Regal's Wikipedia page? You know what? I'm gonna give it to you, Sean Rossap. Mm. That is one point for a correct challenge. You could have also had repetition of general yeah. manager, folks. And champion and champion. Or yeah. ass straight out of the gate, you know, yeah. a cornucopia of options. Um, am I am I allowed to repeat things he said? Yes. It's your oh. it's your attempts you can't repeat. All right, 17 seconds on the clock, starting now. Vince McMahon had the Kiss My Ass Club with an eclectic group of members from William Regal, oh. Jim Ross, Shawn Michaels, <laughs> his own son, Shane McMahon, had his face Sullivan. buried oh, no, into no. that. Sullivan? No. No, don't listen to me. You said McMahon, but McMahon's in the title. I'm an idiot. This is my home turf. I lasted three seconds on the one that I was given, and that's it. Ah, uh, Sullivan, uh, that is uh, a point to Sean for an incorrect challenge. And Sean, you have one second to talk about the sexiest Vince McMahon moment, starting now. Mick Foley also loved kissing Vince McMahon's ass. There you go. And that's three <laughs> points. So three categories so far, and each time the the flag has been with Sean Ross Sapp as he crosses the finishing line. All right, um, Sean, you're going to start this time because it's I your am, turn. Believe it or not, the big dog. You have Ooh. 60 seconds to talk about the big dog starting now. I am the dog, the big bad dog is na the name of uh, Dog the B Bounty Hunter's show. And if you guys are just going to sit here and let me talk about <laughs> this SP3. show. SP3. Come on. Oh, come on. No, SP, you should have let him go. Then come in. Uh, exactly. I was up. trying to wait. <laughs> but he was making it too He's easy. obviously doing I'm not participating in this. this I'm, I'm, he's playing chess. I'm playing checkers. With the, with the screw top on. So I'm not getting involved in this. I know what he's doing. All right. All right. I, so I feel like I've got to lay on the ground and pull somebody over to pin me. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, the only, on I'm the only one calling anything, you see. I'm SP, calling it. it I, I, called it, I called it this time, and Adam gave it to you over me. I was I'm actually yeah, whoa, trying whoa. to lose this yeah, yeah, game, yeah, yeah. and I've yeah. won every round. Nah, exactly. <laughs> it's part of his game, SB. Just know that. Sullivan, I did not hear you, I'm afraid. I simply oh. heard SP3. SP so SP3, that is a point for a correct challenge. I'm assuming de deviation or just simply yielding the subject. You have 40 seconds to talk about the big dog starting now. The big dog is Roman Reigns. Sean. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sean, yeah. Hey, it was hesitation. That's a very good point. What are you? You don't mutiny. No mutiny against my I, round, I, I boys. I was trying to help out Sat and Sully, and no, they I, they, neither one of them. I, it. Well, I didn't expect you to just stop after three seconds. I was thinking, <laughs> you should give the sign. You should do. <laughs> You should have gave Christ, me the... boy. This is Not falling bad. apart in a way that I've never seen it fall apart before. And this round's fallen apart almost every fucking time we've done it. <laughs> right. Uh, Sean, that was a correct challenge uh, for you. 42 seconds to talk about Roman Sully. Are you... Sully, yeah. are you ready? <laughs> oh, I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right. 42 seconds, Sean, to talk about the big dog starting now. The big dog is Roman Reigns, a former member of the Shield who graduated from that faction courtesy of a chair shot to the back from Seth Rollins. It also involved Dean Ambrose, now known as John Moxley, but that doesn't have anything to do with the big dog. The big dog eventually became. <laughs> I mean, that's that's egregious. No, cons come on. <laughs> Considering we have people going, Roman Reigns is the. <laughs> World champion and has been for so long. 
Uh, I like hot tea, <laughs> not cold sweet tea, <laughs> which happens to be a specialty <clears throat> in Louisiana. Uh, SP3, what was your challenge? Hesitation. Fucking why not? All right, uh, that's one point to you. 23 seconds on the clock to talk about the big dog. Sully, are you ready? Uh, mate, mate, I said it before SB3. I don't you know didn't, if you can hear you me. Didn't. Okay, you maybe didn't. I'm on a delay or something. I don't know, but I fucking did. I did. This is a nightmare. <laughs> 23 seconds, SB3, starting now. The big dog nickname comes from the time in the shield when they were known as the Hounds of Justice. The big dog then evolved to the tribal chief or the head of the table or the longest reigning universal champion in history. The Sean? big dog. Sean. Repetition of or a lot. <sighs> when a it's lot. that. And when you it's said and or, or. Those are the same thing. You know what? I'm going to keep it with SP3 okay, because we fair. agreed. Don't get me wrong. There was a lot of oars. There was like three. Uh, any more than that. And enough, I would have tied it with. to get a canoe across the fucking lake. There were so many oars. <laughs> All right. SP3. <laughs> you got five got? seconds okay. to talk about the big dog. Sully. Sully. Yes. Yes. I will say this is the last category. I and know. if you don't buzz in in the next five seconds i've buzzed in so many times i've even had to turn my microphone up turn my microphone up because i don't believe it i don't believe it it's shocking if you don't oh. but if you don't buzz in <laughs> during the next five seconds then you're gonna go completely pointless throughout this entire round I know. I know. which is your round <laughs> I <did. laughs> all right uh, sp3 Five seconds on the clock, starting now. The big dog has faced Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 31 and, and that is time, <laughs> I'm <laughs> afraid. <laughs> Must be on this, some kind of delay because this is ridiculous. This I, round was created <laughs> to give Sully a push because he was popular. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. I, I can't do any of the others. This is the only round I can do. <laughs> this is like the Undertaker's casket match. It's yeah. like, you, you did this because people like Sully. And it's like, let's give him a round that he'll be really good at. Oh, oh, oh. Sully, I'm, Sully oh. I'm, so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's definitely a delay because I, I, I said it at least a second before you finished the time. Uh. Uh. Oh, I never mind, eh? Uh, so, uh, the scores as they stand after that last round. In joint third place with zero points, it's Sat and Sully, the Sat and Sock connection. Uh, in second place with 11 points is SB3. And in first place with 17 <laughs> points, which is a ludicrous amount for that round, it's reigning champion Sean how, Ross Sap. How many? 17. 17. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think you're going to win again, Sean. <laughs> <might> win. <laughs> Adam, uh, Adam, so Adam hops on this stream before and he goes, you might be in trouble, mate. <laughs> 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 There's no trivia, he said. Matty Maitai says, question for the panel. Given the events that transpired for Cody Rhodes' departure from AEW, where would you have him go aside from WWE? And more importantly, does he turn heel? I feel like we're being worked, but this is all hypothetical questioning. I mean, is there another option besides WWE if he doesn't resign with AEW? Because the whole thing is about money. So you got to get paid, going to secure that bag. So go to WWE. There you go. I mean, I, I I don't think he'll be heel. I mean, it's certainly not immediately. Maybe in a bit. I don't know. Virgil and Modus is calling it now. Today is the day Sully defeats SRS and becomes champion. It's not going to happen. It was never going to happen, but now it really Sully, isn't going to happen. Sully, how does it feel? Like, not only did this happen, but I like I went over to No Rolls Bard and I mentally abused you guys <laughs> like bad. Yeah, you like I embarrassed you like a fiddle. Yeah. I just the whole game. Subscribe to No Rolls Bard for more of Sully being great at games. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> he's a great guy we love sully to, <laughs> to pieces uh right we are playing a, another round which is wa lame that jam or rather it, it's it's name that jam but I, pr I i prefer the thumbnail with wale on it uh so we are doing name that jam you know how we do name that jam sp3 this is your round which i assume means that sully will be doing really well uh, at it because we're in bizarro world uh i am going to uh slide into your dms on twitter i am going to send you first of all a wrestler and i want you to sing that wrestler's theme i'm also going to send you a phrase i want you to sing the wrestler's theme using only that phrase and then everyone is going to buzz in uh promptly please sullivan uh they're going to buzz in when they think they know whose theme it is simple as that if you need an example i refer you to for example i need a poopy or little puddings it's a fantastic round a cherished family business uh sully we're gonna start with you right. good cool so the way this works is if someone guesses it correctly not only do you get points but they get points so both of you will get three points so sully if someone guesses this you will be on the scoreboard so i'm going to head over to your Twitter DMs, and I'm going to send you the following. Let me know when you've seen it. And there we go, there we go. Have you seen it? Okay, great, 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 great. Lovely. Do you need time to warm up and hear the song again, or are you ready to go? No, I'm, uh, I'm ready to go straight away. Right. All right, folks, yeah. fingers on buzzers. Remember, if you guess wrong, you will not be able to buzz in again for this question. Uh, <laughs> if you get it right, you will get three points. And Sully will get three points for someone correctly guessing his performance. Uh, pray silence, please, for Sullivan Bo Brown. I'm a fancy boy. SP3. Ah, SP3, I heard you first. The Undertaker? Correct. Very, very good, Sully. Bit of vibrato on that. Love to hear it. Uh, that is three points for Sully, three points for SP3. Sully, oh <laughs> Sully you're winning. Yes. <laughs> it's on the scoreboard, everybody. Yes. <laughs> oh, dog. Uh, oh, goodness me. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, my mods are telling me I did not finish Virgil and Moda's Ultra Chat. My apologies. Um, calling it now, today is the day Sully defeats SRS and becomes champion. He's well on the way now. Off from work this week, so I get to watch live once again. Thanks, everything, for all you do. Hashtag jam that jam. Hashtag support each other. Thank you so much, Virgil the Modo. Uh, right, Sully, correct, Amundo. Uh, let's move on to Sat. Uh, this is for you. Uh, which one am I going to give you? Uh, sure. Let's give you this one. All right. Let me know when you have seen it. Boom. <laughs> you good to go? Do you, need, do, do, you, do you need a refresher? Uh, no, I've got it in my head. Right. In my head. Ready when you are, bud. <clears throat> a bee bit my bottom. A bee beat my bottom. A bee bit my bottom. A a a bee bit my bottom. A bee beat my bottom. 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 A bee bit my bottom. Bottom. P three. Seth Rollins. That is incorrect. SP three. You are locked out of this question. Uh, Sat. Please feel free to continue. All right. A B beat my bottom. A B bit my bottom. A B bit my bottom. Sean. A B. Is that Naomi? It is Naomi. Very good. <laughs> Bring it to the floor. That was great. <laughs> that was actually great. <laughs> I, I, I knew it had to be some sort of electronic music. <laughs> One of those fancy <laughs> disco musics. <laughs> Uh, uh, Sean, I'm going to save you for, for last SP3, as this is, yeah, of course, your round. Uh, Sean, I'm going to give you uh, 
this one, I think. Here you go. Are you good? I think. <laughs> All right. Ready <laughs> when you are. Pizza's not for breakfast. It's not for breakfast. Pizza's 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 not for breakfast. It's not for breakfast. Come on. Come on. Wow, this is beautiful. That's on you. This wow, is that was beautiful. great. <laughs> is, it, is it Cindy Lauper or something? What's, what is this? <laughs> uh, do we have any? Do we have any buzzes? Sean. Sat. Sat. Uh, Johnny Gargano. Correct. Right <laughs> Very good. Come Three on. points to Sat. Three points to SRS. Uh, SP3 is your turn. Fingers on buzzers, folks. Oh, not fingers on buzzers. I haven't sent it to him yet. There you go. Confirm receipt. Excellent. Ready when you are. Banana phone, banana phone, banana phone. That's uh, Randy Orton. Correct, Amundo. Yeah. Oh, very, very, very good. good. Instant bang straight in there. Lovely stuff. All right. We're going to go around again. Don't worry. Um, oh Sully. Yeah, yes. Sully, over to over to you, friend. Yes. <laughs> this, 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 I don't know about this one. We'll see. We'll see. Oh God! Yeah, I think I. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to have to read familiar minds. I can't speak. Oh, I'm jet lagged. Hey, I'm going to have to listen to this one again. I think. <laughs> Sully, your game has fallen apart, son. It's all over the place. It's all over the place. <laughs> uh okay okay Sally said um, to me be like oh don't worry i'll be doing this from uh from america so i'll be more switched on than ever before <laughs> yeah i'll be doing it in the middle yeah. of the day kushti i'm gonna have the best experience of crystal i've ever had <laughs> and All i right, think while, i've proven that yeah while Sorry, you are refreshing while you're refreshing listening to the soundtrack i'm gonna go do some ultra chat uh lakshmi narasa uh, Lakshmi Narash Simhan B says, hi, all hoping for a Sully win here. Surprised that Sock Sully is not another S contestant. I've uh, been hooked onto board games thanks to NRB. No rolls, but uh, uh, some board game arena, some solo, since I don't have a lot of board game minded friends, would love a top roll and write games list. Hashtag jam that jam, hashtag G-O-B. Uh, absolutely. Uh, top 10 roll and writes has been something I've been kicking around for a little bit, maybe in a few months. Uh, we've, we've got a we've got a tournament to get through. And finally, uh, Lakshmi uh, Narasim and B set continue saying on to a wrestling question, because this is a wrestling premium live stream event. Uh, what will be some of your it's so bad, it's good wrestling angles and matches? One of mine would be Sean Hogan with that legit awesome Montreal promo mixed in tell you what i think i i thought which was so crap it was wonderful uh was i was looking up christmas stuff for a christmas list and it was uh the kurt angle beating the shit out of santa claus yes. uh segment from armageddon 2004 where he <laughs> so santa claus came out and kurt angle appeared and said my daughter loves you more than she loves me and proceeded to murder santa claus um alberto del rio as shitty of a person as he is running over santa yes yeah also yeah really good the week after he he turned a baby face <laughs> yes they totally committed to that bit which yeah. is made it it made it actually funny which is rare for wwe sullivan are you ready mm -hmm. yeah yeah you oh, yes <laughs> <laughs> ready when you are old boy here we go here we go a partridge partridge amongst the pigeons 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 a partridge it goes on a partridge partridge amongst the pigeons 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 that's what i can give you that's all i've got i hope you get it i'm gonna take us can I hear it one more time? <laughs> <laughs> Can you use it in a sentence, please? Okay. okay. <laughs> it's 
it's something it goes a little bit like this a partridge partridge amongst the pigeons a partridge partridge amongst the pigeons sean, pa- oh, yeah. sean. the mysterios <laughs> it's mr it's ray mysterio yeah yes who's that Thank jumping out so the sky booyaka <laughs> Six one nine. <laughs> Very good. Part, the the part, sad part, thing is, part. what popped up in my mind was, is that Dominic Mysterio, not Ray Mysterio? Oh, really? Oh, oh silly. Uh, well done, Sully. More points for you. Uh, moving on to the next person, which is Sat. Uh, this is for you. Sliding into... There we go. All right. Sent. <clears throat> Good. All right. It's a, it's a face of confidence. You love to see it. Uh, ready when you are. Axe, <clears throat> body spray. Axe, body spray. SP3. Oh, SP3. Ah. Goldberg. It was Goldberg. That, very, that was good very one. good. That was mm. really good. Mm. Sully, just a, a hair, a hair, <laughs> a hair too late on that mm-hmm. one, I'm afraid. Yeah, <laughs> that never happens to me. That's so crazy. Good one. That was really, really good. Uh, uh, Sean Rossap, uh, yeah. this one is for you. By the way, guys, I'm on Cameo now if you want me to roast you or sing to you all the proceeds going to local animal shelters in my area. I saw that. That's Ooh. very, very mm. nice. So Luke, yeah, Owens, Luke Owens just using it to feed his kid. The idiot. Yeah. Well, Luke doing one is why I started to do one. I was like, if people are paying for Luke, eh. <laughs> they're, they're paying for they're paying for a dog shit burger. Why not offer them yeah. a steak at a fair price? Um, okay. Right, you good to go? Yeah, this is that folks. easy. Sweaty Jesse, sweaty Jesse. Come on, guys, that's all I need. Sweaty Jesse. Sweaty Jesse. <laughs> oh man, how are you gonna mess Tough this crowd, one up? Sean. <laughs> man, <laughs> we need variation. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <a> variation. <laughs> Let me see. Mm-mm. I, you know what? I'll give you. I'll I'll deviate from the script. Oh, sweaty Jesse. SP three. SP three. Pass in his glory. Keith Lee. It's go. Keith Lee. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Three points to SB3. Three points to SRS. And finally, we are heading over to our main event. It is SP3's turn. And this is for you to do. That was so sweet of you. So sweet of you. You're welcome. All right. Are you Are you good to go? <clears throat> okay yes i'm ready to go hit us ding dong hello 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 ho ding dong hello hello ho ding dong hello hello <laughs> sean sean mm. maybe i chimed in I've, I've got to go ruby i gotta go with it ruby it is not ruby oh. riot right, okay. sully and sat this is all for you uh sv3 hit us again <sighs> ding ding dong ding dong hello ho, oh, oh son of a- <laughs> sully i heard you first <laughs> finally <laughs> ronda rousey it is ronda rousey <laughs> <laughs> i like it again Derendation. <laughs> Yes, Sully. Yes, yes, Sully. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. It's, it's happening. The comeback story begins now. Yes, you there did we it. Go. The boyhood dream. Uh, can confirm that was indeed Ronda Rousey's music. Uh, the current scores after that round are as follows: in fourth place with nine points, it's Sullivan Bo Brown. In third place with twelve. It's Sat E Niangi. In second place with 26, it's SP3. In first place with 29, Ooh. SRS. Gaining some ground. Can't lose uh, this game yet. Uh, Sullivan, uh, please remind me what you do for a living. 
Uh, I'm a professional actor. Fantastic. Let's play some charades, shall we? <laughs> yep, that's the same as acting. Same as acting, charades. <laughs> it is the same. It is the same. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to do uh, Name That Jam, but for uh, charades, basically. I am going to send you all on, in your Twitter DMs uh, a wrestling thing. Could be a person, could be an event from wrestling's uh, past. Uh, you then have to act that out without uh, speaking, certainly, and without mouthing anything either. Any actions are completely fine. If you want to do first word, second word, you can. But generally speaking, we're asking you to act out the thing I'm going to send you. Are we all cool? Yes. Marvellous. All right. In which case... Uh, Sully, you're going first. Great. Because you are classically trained. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. I um, love Charade's oh. class at drama school. That was great. <laughs> Charade's class. Stop speaking, Sullivan. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Start it again. <laughs> All right, Sully, I've sent you a thing to act out without words. Okay. Are you good? Yes. You, you may need to. You may need to leave your chair. You may choose not to leave your chair. It is up to you. But there must be silence in the library. Okay. Fingers on buzzers, folks. When you buzz in, it's exactly the same as name that jam. Same number of points. Same system. All right, Sullivan. The floor is yours. Pray silence. <laughs> SP3. I heard Sat first. I heard Sat first. Uh, Stone Cold Beer Truck. That is incorrect. Uh, Sully, please continue. SP3. SP3. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin Beer Bath on the McMahons. Oh. That is incorrect. <laughs> Sully, back to you. <laughs> Oh, you should have done that earlier. <laughs> Sean, stop playing with your <laughs> Please. No, Sully, you, mu you must continue until Sean guesses. <laughs> um... The live sex celebration of oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there's no points. You all no, guess like wrong. It's third angle with the milk. Oh, jug, you right? don't get those points, Sean. You don't get to fuck me. About. I mean, that was, you couldn't think I was serious, but I mean, I don't give a shit. It was very clearly Kurt Angle. All you've done is rob Sullivan Brown of three points, you measly bastard. Was I right? <laughs> Was I right? Well, obviously oh. it was Kurt Angle's Milkomania, well, but I you mean, didn't what? guess that. You guess why like, is he going in all Rambo with an assault yeah. rifle? <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly. It's more exactly. like Ghostbusters. It's the milk thing. It's the milk thing. Buddy, that is. You have to have a permit to use whatever it is that you were using in there. <laughs> like this, he can barely it's hold the milk me. thing. It's like, oh, <laughs> oh, my sides. Oh my yeah. sides. All right. <laughs> <laughs> stupid, stupid. You're all stupid. And I love you very much. Sean, we'll have yeah. you. How about that? What's all right. Uh, seeing as you are so keen on this round, uh, there you go. Mm. How many rounds of this are we doing? Uh, there are going to be eight. We are currently on the okay. second. And that's fine. <laughs> that's <laughs> fine, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Here fingers on buzzers, folks. Am I allowed to use any props? No. Okay, it's fine. It's charades, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sullivan. Sullivan? Is it uh is it uh, Stone Cold being crucified? The thing it or? is not Stone Cold being crucified, I'm afraid. Oh. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Just go uh, stay there. Oh. 
Um, SP3? SP3. Is it Raven uh, hey, uh, crucifying Sandman? Yes, it is. It's Raven oh. crucifying Sandman. Very, Wrong. very good. Wrong crucifixion, Sully. Wrong crucifixion. <laughs> no Ray, Easter for you. <laughs> 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 all right uh sat you're up all right uh so fingers on buzzers folks Sat, you will be acting out this <laughs> <laughs> okay a cautious thumbs up from the lad uh all right sat when you are ready Ooh. Is it right to centre? <laughs> <laughs> Scott Steiner. <Right. laughs> oh. Sullivan. Uh... <laughs> Oh, Sullivan, is it when when uh, is it when the Undertaker got all burnt and he had to pour yes, water? It over? Is. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. That was wow. so good, man. Yeah, that was great. You, I, the way you just like went into the um, storming down the ramp, taking off the cone, just like oh, that was so good. Got that was ready. very good. That was really yeah. good. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Very, oh, very brilliant. good. On oh, well done. What, what a superb bit of acting. Love to see it. All right. Mm -hmm. And next up, it is SP3. I'm sorry. No, I'm, no, no comments here. Uh, right. Uh, confirm when you've seen this, please. All right. All right. <clears throat> oh, okay. You can't use props. Damn. I had a can't perfect props. prop for it. Um, all right. Sat. Sat? The hurricane? Oh, what a guess. It is not the hurricane. Oh, no. You are locked out of this question, I'm afraid. I'll full screen you see if that helps. Sullivan. Yeah, Sullivan. that helps a lot. <laughs> Sullivan, are you, you're uh, buzzing in? That... Oh, yeah, but uh, I mean, it, it, is it something to do with the big show? Um, oh, it's a... <laughs> Sullivan, I'm going <laughs> to let, go let you... No, yeah. Sullivan, I'm going to let you finish your thought because you have buzzed in, but I will need an official guess from you. No more conjecture. Oh, is, is it the big show's first appearance in WWE? That's yeah. It is guess. not. I am afraid. Uh, Sean, is, this is yours, I guess. Is that the Big Show's dad's funeral? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what was the nunchucks about? That was the yeah. boss man with the nice thing. Boss yeah. man with the nice thing. It was him doing the, the gimmicks. <laughs> yeah, I no. thought it was a fire hose at first. <laughs> And then me with I thought... the Walkman on the on the casket. Going at <laughs> I mean Big Show on the casket. <laughs> I thought it was some sort of self-flagellation or something. I thought <laughs> when did they have like some medieval Christian sects involved in a storyline and with the big show? <laughs> live the live sects celebration. All right, uh, <laughs> Sullivan, this is for you. We're going to go round again. Do not worry. Uh, so, Sullivan, this is for you to act out. Does that make sense to you? Yes, yes, it does. Do you need a moment, or are you good to go? Oh, so, oh, so, yeah, I, I, I'm good. I'm good to go, sort of. But um, uh, yes, yeah, can be difficult. It can be difficult. Here we go. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to take up my earphones. So uh, if you say anything okay. funny, just let me know. Okay. <laughs> SP3. Sean. SP3. Shawn Michaels, Ric Flair, WrestleMania 24. It is. I'm sorry. I love you. Very, oh. very good facials oh. from Sullivan Bo Brown there. You absolutely love to which, see Which is it. great because I thought the last thing he charaded was a facial. 
I hate how quick that was, Sean. I really <laughs> didn't know. Uh, right, who's next? It's Sat. It's Sat. All right. So this is for you. Uh, boom. Straight in there. All right. I'm expecting big things. Expecting yeah. big things. All right. Oh, hang on. Let me let me full screen you there. SP three. SP three. Kane's debut. Hell, fucking yes! It's wow. Kane's debut. Wow. What's the what was the one I? Think? <laughs> I don't know. I was like I was like Debo about to approach Craig in Friday. Um, <laughs> contact lens, he's got one bad eye. The contact lens, <laughs> yeah, all right. That's, that's great attention to detail. <laughs> that, that entirely threw me off. I thought, <laughs> I thought it might be Hulk Hogan after he had that black eye when it in WrestleMania, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> that's like, what's going on? His eyes all funny. Oh, great. Uh, all right, amazing. Uh, Sean, yep, this is for you. I realize we've gone slightly out of turn up, but never mind. Uh, Sean, this is for you. Uh, there we go. There we go. Hmm. Are you ready, How Sean? Could I possibly? No, I'm not. How could I possibly get ready to win this game? What is a foolproof idea? <sighs> I just want to maximize, you know. The possibility of me winning this. <laughs> okay. Good to hear. Okay, I'm ready. You're ready. Here we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sat. 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 Remy still gets eye gouge. Sat. 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 I think Remy he's got still... it, Adam. I think he might have it. Sat might have got it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give him another one. <laughs> oh yeah, you're absolutely getting a fucking another one. <laughs> that was gonna be a real easy one too. It really was. Just do this. Yeah, exactly. But uh, listen, listen. I've I've experienced so many people in this game that cheat that I wanted to do it myself. <laughs> All right. Now I now have to come up with one on the fly, god. Damn you. All right. Fuck you. Definitely one point. that isn't on Google. <laughs> <laughs> right, here you go, you son of a bitch. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. SP3. SP3? Edge Spears, Jeff Hardy, TLC2. Very good. Come on, <laughs> keep it <down. laughs> Bloody hell, that's good. Well done. The other one was harder. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> she had my big ass head floating around in front of Ray's face. <laughs> I hate you, Sean. <laughs> Every month it gets worse. Um, right, uh, Sully, you were the chosen one. <laughs> Uh, next, uh, this is SP3's. Uh, this is SP3's here. Boom, we're gonna close out with this. Damn. All right, you good to go? Can't use props. Um, yeah, all right, ready when you are. Sullivan, <laughs> Sullivan, is that? It's, what is, is that... ruffling over there? <laughs> what have you... Do you have like a body rolled up in a trash bag? Or what? What is going on? Preparing, preparing, preparing for my death. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't uh, even so... let me finish, though. <laughs> That's a good point, Sully. Would you like to make a guess, or would you prefer to let him finish? I think I think we've got to let him finish. I yeah, mean, we gotta... yeah. I think All right, SP three. Yeah. I, I, I got to do it over again. Yes. Yeah, 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 ideally, yeah. yes. I'm gonna Please. stand up this time. Think of the viewers. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> well, that makes it so much Jesus. worse. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 no, 
Sean. <laughs> Sean. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Uh, Oh, oh that is. Oh, we Listen, should be this... putting getting people's credit card details to watch this. <laughs> this, this is only on OnlyFans. This, this is yeah. This... <laughs> oh, brilliant. Uh, Sean, I believe you interrupted. Is it Nia Jax's hole? No, <laughs> Su- no Sullivan, not. Sullivan, Sullivan. Is it the new day? Yes, it is the new day. <laughs> yes, it is. Bootios. <laughs> listen, listen, buddy. You you were about to have a whole lot of people googling rusty trombones here in a minute. If I got another guess, <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, I thought it was new day, but I thought it was like something a storyline that's okay i'm out shot trying to figure out what it was what big storyline happened but yeah, yeah i couldn't it, it was sexy new day is what it was <laughs> i got a Goodness. piss <laughs> <laughs> well while sean's pissing uh, ig little has says question for the group if cody does well in wwe who will be the next few extremely prominent people currently in aew to jump ship it's a question that we've answered before. Uh, it seems, I guess, a bit more likely now than it did. But uh, I, previous answers have been Brian Cage. Uh, but does anyone have an advance on that? Uh, Ricky Starks, who's got a friendship with Bailey and The Undertaker. So he grew up as a WWE fan. So that's like likely could happen if he doesn't get pushed beyond uh, FTW title picture. Very, very good. Mm. I think Jade... Jade Cargill, uh, maybe. Like, if if she if the super push doesn't quite work out and the AEW fans start to turn on her, which is I hope doesn't happen, but it could, then I could I could see her making a huge splash in WWE for sure. Mm. Uh, I think I think uh, Jungle Boy in a few years, if he puts on muscle, Vince is gonna wet himself over Dylan McKay's son coming into WWE. So, <laughs> that is a good I point. Can see that. Um, Brett Storm says cheering on Sully and Sat E in this Quizzle Mania will always want to see a Sullivan win uh, and with Sat I've been impressed ever since I first saw him on Greg Cherry's uh, World Wrestling Trivia Championship Tournament and Quizzle Mania also if Sat wins I could say I've beaten the reigning Quizzle Mania champ lol uh, Lispy the Puppet says celebrating three years clean and sober this month congratulations uh, celebrated year two with Quizzle Mania celebrating this year the same to be fair partying options are more limited than they used to be thank you all for everything you do you help more than you know thank you so much lispy and congratulations that's a huge milestone very very proud of you keep on going uh van twinblade says you know where to put this adam it's love o'clock everyone time to say nice things about your fellow contestant uh sp3 could you say something nice about sat Niangi, please He's a beautiful man that rubs oil on his chest better than anyone in the business today. And he's a dear friend of mine and going to be a great father. Hell yeah. Sat, could you say something super nice about Sully, please? Sully, you have very nice socks. Thank you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. There's more to it. Sully, <laughs> you are the Carl Pilkington to Adam Blanco's <laughs> Ricky <Richard> race. <laughs> Oh, oh. Is, that a, is that a compliment? Who knows? But I like it. And I'm happy with it. <laughs> um, Sully, could you please say something nice about Sean? Oh, well, Sean is actually, yeah, as I said on a previous time that we've done this, one of the loveliest men who I- I- involved in wrestling. And he won't want me to say that. He'll hate me saying that, but it's true. Uh, and also he's just really really good at his job really really good at his job (laughs) and (laughs) sean could you say something nice about sp3 please yes (laughs) (laughs) you want me to yes please Oh, he's he's an incredibly entertaining and talented content creator. He's always looking for new things to do, looking for ways to do things differently. Uh, he's willing to collaborate with almost anybody. I mean, he's on this show, so obviously he's willing to reach to the bottom of the barrel to pull out entertaining content. And for that, I respect him. <laughs> you motherfucker. All right. Uh, but I am going to say one very nice thing about... Our sponsor for this month's episode, it's Surfshark. I love Surfshark. Uh, if you, if you, if our lovely contestants want to stretch their legs, I'm going to talk a little bit about our sponsor. Well, in fact, I'm not going to. 
I'm going to. At Quizlemania, we believe in three things. Wrestlers' nipples, Adam never gets anything wrong as host, and the big business can get their grubby overlord hands off our IP address. And that's why we'd like to thank Surfshark VPN for sponsoring Quizlemania in 2022. Surfshark believes you have the right to privacy when you browse online, freeing you from the burden of targeted ads that keep thinking I'm pregnant for some reason, region lock content like HBO Max, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, or unsecured connections when you're out and about doing whatever it is you do. We really honestly don't want to know what it is that you do you're all disgusting surfshark has over 3200 servers in more than 60 countries all secured with end-to-end encryption so whether you're ollie davis going on your eighth gap year but still wanting to watch uk tv luke wanting to protect his computer from malicious websites while he hunts for godzilla slash fiction or pete trying to remain hidden from the chinese government because of what he did for legal reasons we can't talk about what pete did surfshark vpn has you covered with its host of technical features take control of your internet usage today and try Surfshark VPN whilst also supporting Quizlemania in 2022 by going to surfshark.deals forward slash jam that jam and enter promo code jam that jam for 83% off and three months for free. That's surfshark.deals forward slash jam that jam. Enter promo code jam that jam for 83% off and three months for free. All right. Absolutely. Uh, please do check the link at the top of the description and in the paid comment to get a great deal on a great VPN. Uh, we love Surfshark. That's why they're going to be sponsoring us all year. Thank you so much uh, to our wonderful sponsor, Surfshark. Or as someone put in the comments, uh, Surf Sock VPN. Lovely stuff. Uh, welcome back. Uh, it's time for the scores. Uh, we are tw- about two thirds of the way through the game. Uh, so there is still reasonably all to play for uh sullivan sit down old boy goodness me <laughs> he's getting a tea of course he's getting a tea uh right the scores as they stand are in joint last place in joint third place i should say with 18 points each it's sat Iniangi and sullivan Bo brown yeah it- look at Second place, <laughs> second place with 38 points. 38 points is the wonderful Sean Ross Sap. In first place with 44 points, however, it's SP3. We have new, uh, we have a new challenger pulling out in front. Are you ready for a new round? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Now, uh, We've played herd mentality in the past, um, and it went over pretty well. So I thought I'm going to adapt one of my other favorite board games into a round of Quizlemania. This is called Spyfall. All right. So, uh, Sean, you've played this. You played Love this it. with us on No Rolls Bard. It's from a board game called Spyfall. Uh, so if you like what we're about to do here, please do check it out. Here's how it's going to work. Every round, I'm going to message all of you the name of a wrestler. Well, I'm going to message all but one of you a name of a wrestler. One of you, each round, I'm going to message the word spy. (laughs) If you are the spy, you have to not get caught. Then I'm going to put four minutes or maybe three minutes if four minutes feels too long, but we'll go with four minutes to start. I'm going to put four minutes on the clock. And then you guys are going to go around and ask each other questions about this wrestler. These questions have to be specific enough so that everyone else thinks you're not the spy, but not so specific that the spy can buzz in and say, I'm the spy. Is it Dolph Ziggler? Because if they're right, they will get three points however if at any point you want to call for a vote you can say i want to call for a vote i think this person is the spy and if everyone agrees we'll stop and we'll see if that person was the spy if it was everyone will get two points if not if the time runs out if four minutes elapses then you will simply do a vote you will write down on a piece of paper who you think the spy is if the spy gets away with it then um, he will get three points. If not, everyone else will get two points. Does this make sense? It's a social deduction game, a little bit like Werewolf. You're trying to get away with not knowing what everyone else is talking about. We good? 
Cool. Yeah. For the, the way the turn's going to go is, for example, Sullivan might say, let's say, for example, I message you and it is, it's Dolph Ziggler. Um, Sullivan might say, uh, SP3, what's your favorite thing about this wrestler? And uh, SP3, you, you won't want to say something like, oh, the way he steals the show, because that, you know, it's obviously Dolph Ziggler. You could say, though, oh, I really like his hair. And everyone goes, okay, he might think it. And then SP3 will be your turn to ask a question to anyone apart from Sully, who just asked you. Hmm. All good. Yes. We kind of know how, we, how it's going. This was the most fun I ever had on camera for anything. It was playing nice. Spyfall. I it was so it. much fun playing with you, and you absolutely destroyed us. You destroyed <laughs> us mentally. We were all over the place. <laughs> uh, oh. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how this goes. Um, please don't react when I send you um, the thing. But I'm gonna send everyone um, the the thing, apart from the one person who is the spy. I will just send you the word spy. So, all right, now I am sending you your wrestlers check your dms all right okay you should all know either who the wrestler is that you'll be asking questions about and answering questions or you'll know that you are the spy sean as you were ever so good at this when you played it with us over on No Rolls Bard. Please do subscribe to No Rolls Bard, by the way, to see uh, Sean playing this game with us and executing his psychological torment. Four minutes on the clock. Sean, the first question will be yours. Ask whomever you want, starting now. SP3, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Fuck's sake. <laughs> Eggs, French toast, and bacon. All right, great. I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm... I'm taking it to a vote. It's SP3. He's the spy. SP, um, dude, <laughs> fuck's no. sake. I'm, I'm ignoring that. Uh, SP3. I'm, I'm dead serious. You think it's SP3? All yes. right. Okay. I'll I'll pause the timer. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it is it a consensus from Sully and from Sat? I don't think it's enough for no. me. You know. No. <laughs> I'm not going there, man. My guy's playing chess. I'm a pawn in someone's game. All right. All right. Go ahead. Uh, there couldn't be a consensus on USB3. So uh, you've been asked a question. You may ask anyone except for Sean. Sully. Yes. Who do you think our wrestler's greatest rival is? <sighs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, um, it's SP3. He's the spy. SP3 is a fucking spy. I'll go for it. Is SP fucking three? He is the spy. That's, that's a three, not a Y at the end. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. It's a three, not a Y. No, because I, I know why Sully's doing this, and it's not because he's the spy. <laughs> I'm gonna go for. Yeah, can we take a vote? <laughs> I think it is. I want to. I want to hear. I want to hear from yeah. Sunny. Yeah, it's, I want to hear too. It's Andre the Giant. Is. Oh, yeah. can, we, can, we, can we take a vote? Can we? Take a vote? I think yes, there is. It, it's Sully. It's Sully. What do you it's mean? Sully. It's Sully. He doesn't know. Isn't isn't he all of our rivals in a sense? <laughs> Isn't wrestling the true rival of any wrestler? <laughs> isn't isn't um, <laughs> say oh, who is it? Sonny? That's a, such a hard question. <laughs> that was a great one, SP three. Fuck me, man. That could have been anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for it, it it was Triple Triple H is the one that you all, all given was it? Should have went for that first. We need yeah. to go. He's the spy. Uh, are you all agreed that Sully is a spy? Yes. 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 All right. So that is two points to Sat, two points to SP3, <laughs> and two points to SRS. Sully Although, was uh, indeed the spy. I don't know By the way, me. SP3. The answer is a big fucking stack of pancakes. 
<laughs> Come on. You you are right. You are right. That's true. That's true. Uh, Eaten by Andre the Giant. <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, he, he he grew up with him when he was a kid. That was his rival when he was like eight years old. I get it. Yeah. Exactly. You, exactly. You, don't I, any I of you casuals young rock. watch Young Rock? I, I watch Young Rock. I'm with you. I, I read his book. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, uh, Sully. You, <laughs> as soon as the question was asked, like, fuck, he's done. <laughs> yep, literally. Yep. My, just... my, my hope was that Sat was new enough to this game to where me being sold on SP3 was enough to just plant it in his brain <laughs> right out of the gate. So, it was it. With with that in mind, we're moving on to the next wrestler. Uh, everyone check your DMs. You will either get the name of the wrestler or you will get the word spy. Okay. Huh. I don't know how you got me, guys. My first round. <laughs> James Bond over here. <laughs> 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 all right uh we'll start with the previous spy why not and four minutes on the clock uh you may want to ask slightly less specific questions than that. <laughs> uh, but hey it's up to how you play the game i found that intensely amusing uh sully uh, your first question starting now uh sat um yeah. uh did this person have good hair? You could say he had really great hair. <clears throat> All right, Sat, it's your turn to ask anyone apart from Sully a question. <clears throat> SB3, did this wrestler have a disappointing WCW run, second WCW run? Yes. Are you All sure? Right. <laughs> SP3. It's subjective now. <laughs> Sean. Yeah. What would you say is this wrestler's favorite body part? The leg. SP3. Yes. What is the name of your wrestler? <laughs> play, play, play the game, sure. Well, SP3. Yes. What made that second run so disappointing? Just in WCW, to clarify. Just didn't have a like focus at all. And it was a tag on for someone else. Uh Sat. Yes. What would you say this person thinks about their kids? Well, I think this person's been quiet for a long time. Doesn't really talk much. That, that doesn't answer my question, but... That is that is the answer you've been given, though. Uh, Sat, you may ask anyone apart from SP3. Sully. Yes? Which gear did you prefer this particular wrestler's to wear? I liked his uh, uh, his most patriotic gear, the best. Um, We're Sean. talking about Lex Luger here, right, guys? That <laughs> is an incorrect <laughs> guess from the spy. So that is two points for Sully, Sat, and SP3. Who was afraid. it? I was about to. I was about to stop it too because I knew it was Sean because he should have said heart for my answer. Oh, uh, the correct answer was the British bulldog they were talking about. Mm, patriotic to you, British fox. Yes, exactly. Yes. And there's, yes. There's as well. yes, Sean. There, there's more than one nation in the world. <laughs> <laughs> there's more than one royal nation. <laughs> the British nation. Correct. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, we're gonna play. I think someone needs to go back to where he came from. <laughs> Get out of my country. 
No, I'm sticking around. <laughs> my God. All right, you guys are currently being uh, messaged again. Uh, the name of your wrestler or the word spy. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Uh, you all have been told. Uh, we're going to go have the previous spy start. So, Sean, you get to go first. You're going to ask a question to whomever you like. Go. Sat. What would you say our wrestler's best year was? I would say... Um... Pretty easy to me. It depends. They've had many great years. Of course, but there's... There's one specific one. I'll probably say 2015, maybe. That's when I enjoyed. All right, Sat, you may ask anyone apart from SRS. Uh, SB3. Yes, sir. Do you think this particular person or whatever is underrated? Yes. Can we stop and take a vote? I think the spy is sat. Uh, all right. So um, we have a proposal of the spy from SP3 that is sat. Uh, Sully and Sean, do you agree? Yep, I sure do. I do as well, yep. That is a complete consensus. Sat, are you the spy? No, you morons. It's not me. <laughs> who was that? Uh, Sean, who do you think it is? <laughs> me. <laughs> no, who do you think they're talking about? <laughs> me. <laughs> they were talking yeah. about the new day. Exactly. I didn't I didn't want to trip. I didn't want to trip up. It's I didn't want to trip up. That's why I said person, them. I was, oh, mm. yeah. No, I, 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 I took that as you didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know, but it's hard. Just go like, with person. Just go with person. Let it fly. <laughs> I am I did surprised. Let it fly. Surprised that 2015 didn't do it for you. It was their best year. I'm surprised they uh, they rounded on you after that. But that is the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, we have uh, two more goes at this. We're going to do five rounds. Uh, so I'm messaging everyone again. You are going to get uh, your wrestler or the word spy. Uh, we are going to start with our previous spy, uh, which was Sat. Um, I was the previous spy. Oh, oh yeah. but yes, yes, yes. I think that was, uh, that was quite <laughs> uh, Adam forgot. That's, that makes old. it worse. <laughs> Adam, man. I'm sat. I genuinely apologize. <laughs> I just, I, I, I bought into their terrible propaganda. Uh, so, Sean, you'll be asking the first question. Ask it of whomever you like, starting your four minutes start now. Sat, uh, how's how's work going for you? Work is fine. I got a pay raise last year, but yeah, it's fine. Great. <laughs> Sat, <laughs> who would you like to ask a question? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Ooh, Sully, is yes. this person the most wooden performer you've ever seen? <laughs> yeah. Definitely up there. Definitely up there. Uh, incredibly, incredibly. So I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to give too many clues. Uh, SP3. Yes. Um, uh, did this person ever get a really great pop, even though they were one of the most wooden performers ever? It's SP3. Not to me of my recollection. Um... SP3. Sean. Yeah. Sean. Yeah. Does this performer have a favorite, one of your favorite matches? Well, wrestling subjective. So I'm going to say, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Um, do, do I need to answer honestly and truthfully? Please. Okay. Two, I think we think no, about. no. I, I. Um. <laughs> no. Not really. Can, can we take a vote? It's, it's SP3. It's yes, SP3. <laughs> Calling for a vote on SP3. Yes, SP3. Uh, that is a consensus on SP3. SP3, were you the spy? Yeah, I was. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, Linda McMahon had great matches in the Tokyo Dome, guys. She, so, she never Dome. had a match. Her five star matches in the Tokyo Dome were pretty good, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, <it was> <laughs> really good. She's so wooden, guys. You, 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 are you telling me that Linda McMahon versus Okada wasn't very good? Because I think it's <laughs> fucking great. It this is a classic. <laughs> no, yeah. I was thinking when she stood up, got the biggest <laughs> pop. And did this. <laughs> and, and kicked him in the yeah. Yeah. handbags. <laughs> all right. This is the last one. You've all been messaged the name of your performer uh, or the word spy. Uh, we're going to start with the previous spy, which was SP3. You may ask a question to whomever you like. Four minutes on the clock starting now. Do you? Oh, my. Let me see. SP, uh, Sean. Let's start with Sean. <laughs> Do you prefer this person's first or latest theme song? This will be controversial, but I'm going to say their latest. Sean. Sat. It's you, isn't it? Yes, me, baby. <laughs> um, if your wrestler was a construction worker, what tool would they specialize with? Uh, I think a sledgehammer. It's Sully. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Sully's the spy. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's, it's that piece of shit right there. <laughs> it's that piece of shit. Or, or maybe. Uh, actually, you know what? You know what? I'll, I'll let Sully keep asking. I'll allow him. I'm an Austin or I'm in. In You're in America, buddy. You're in America. <laughs> Guilty until proven innocent here. Sat. Yes. Your your question, sir. Uh okay. Um Sully. Yeah. This particular wrestler in a construction site, in addition to a sledgehammer, what else would he use? Oh no, it's sat. It's sat. It's definitely sat. 100 percent sat. <laughs> You're coming apart, Sean. You're coming <laughs> apart, son. Uh, Sully, the question is yours to be asked. A to shovel. answer, sorry. A shovel. Sean! Sully. Yeah, what's up? If you're so sure about me, let's ask you some questions. Yeah, let's do it. Or at least one, because that's all you get. <laughs> <laughs> Make it good. <laughs> Does this is this person a better baby face or heel? It sat, I think. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Um that is to be determined. I would argue. All right. We've had no votes called for just yet. So Sean, and it's your people question. that aren't the spy know exactly what I'm talking about. Sat. <laughs> Uh, Sean, your question, please. You've got one minute left on the clock to find the spy. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, hey, um, what what are you wearing right now? What what are you wearing on a given day when you show up to work? Who who are you asking? When Sean? you arrive, <laughs> sat. When you arrive to work, what are you wearing? My underwear. It's sat. It is sat. <laughs> Based on that shrewd detective, sat. Um, yes. 
call, call for a vote if you want, Sean, but I'm going to you know keep, uh, I'm going to pushing it along. Come on, come on, okay. you guys. Me, right? Okay. SP3. Um, We're running out of time, guys. We got to call for a vote. SP3. And this person Use it or lose it. first it's run in the WWE, what would you think was this crowning moment? It's sacked! <laughs> Go to a vote. You, want, you want to take a vote? Yes. <laughs> we can take a vote. We can take a vote. We can take a vote. It's SRS. Yeah. It's sacked. It's sacked. <laughs> All right. Well, you done. know what? You know yeah. what? Time. Time has run out, which means on this, the final one, I'm going to ask you guys to go to your pen and paper, which you haven't had to use the entire game. Yeah, really um, good. Write down who you think the spy is. If there is a tie, the spy will win. If the majority is wrong, the spy will win. All right. Has everyone written something down? I'm going to tell you to reveal your pants in three seconds if you have. Has everyone written something? Three, three two, one. <laughs> Go. I've had to write it down on my phone, but look at that, Sat. <laughs> so we have two for Sat, two for Sean Ross Sap, which means the uh, the the spy has gotten away with it. Uh, spy, could you please reveal yourself? I knew it. It was me. It you was me all the whole time. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Very Sean nice. It was me. Very nice. <laughs> I knew it all along. No, but but Sean Sean initially went. It's me. It's me. <laughs> It's me before I hadn't even said anything. Stat, I'll tell you where you screwed up. Cody is wearing. Uh, did, did I just give that away? Was I not supposed to? Too bad. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. No, it's he's, belt? he's wearing a suit to work. Exactly. So I was, I, thinking, I was thinking of sorry. I was thinking of Dusty Roads, you know, construction site. I was like, oh, <laughs> grandson of a plumber. He's. <laughs> Those are hypothetical questions. I'm sorry. I knew you had I knew. sold. I knew, I knew it within it the Cody first three the questions that it was him. And you were so bad at the game, Sat. I am. You were so bad at the game. I'm so terrible, man. <laughs> and you convinced me that he wasn't. And you convinced to yourself questions. that I was a spy. <laughs> yes. Because you were going so hard. You're the boy who cried the wolf. That's what I thought was you. You are fully deflected. Say. You fucked up the say. game. I came up with a cerebral method to figure it. this out. And then Sat's like, I'm just going to come through and punch stuff. <laughs> like, I'm just going to. That is me. Tear shit up. Oh, I knew it was, I knew it was Cody oh, the whole man. time. It was, yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> Oh, very, very, very good. All right. Well, that's that's Spyfall. That's a bit of fun. God, board games are great. Uh, right. Uh, so uh, this, the scores after that round are as follows. Ooh, what did I say the scores were? Okay, cool. So I think these are the correct scores. I, can't, <laughs> I kind of lost my mind during that game. Um, so... The scores are, I think, in last place, Sat with 22, oh. in third place, Sully with 25, then Sean with 45, and SP3 with 50, I think. Does anyone remember what their scores were? At the last? No, I was, I was relying on you, Adam. I trust you. Whatever number you tell me, that's me. Last I one, I had you. 45, I believe. I'm not not paid to keep score. <laughs> you... <laughs> He's got a point there. All right, good point. Fact check. Um, if if I if I can get it, like an update <laughs> from anyone who can remember and can remember and like add those points, those are the points we're going to currently work with. Uh, right, as we move into, uh, we're going to play a very quick round of do 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 do. We've got two more rounds left, but this one is quite quick. Uh, where here it is. We're going to play Articulate. It's all board games. It's all party games here on Quizlemania 45. Uh, so the way this is going to go is I'm going to kind of pair you up. Uh, so like we'll have Sully with SP3, SP3 with Sat, Sat with Sean, and Sean with Sully. Uh, when it's your turn, you will be uh, basically you will close your eyes, and your partner will read. Will basically have a wrestler appear in front of them on the screen like The Rock, and they will have to describe that wrestler without using their name. As soon as you guess it, you say it out loud, and that is a point for both of you. Um, the, uh, there's only going to be 30 seconds on the clock, and you're only going to get one turn at being the guesser each time. 
so uh, yeah, make the most of your points. Uh, that was a appalling explanation of Articulate, but I think everyone knows how to play Articulate, right? We've all played this game before. Lovely stuff. So we're going to have a Sully with SP3. So SP3, you're going to have your eyes closed, and Sully, you will be uh, reading out the answers. Uh, you're only going to have 30 seconds to get as many of these as possible. Uh, Sully, you have uh, as many passes as you want. Nice. That's absolutely fine by me. And uh, yeah, so SB3, when you think you know the answer, just shout it out. All right. All right. We are ready to go. So, Sully, here is your first one on the screen. Your 30 seconds start now. Okay, one of the four horsewomen. Uh, she had an amazing match with Sasha Banks, Iron Woman match. Uh, Bailey. Correct. Yes. Um, uh, he used to point at his back quite a lot. ECW uh, wrestler, uh, high flyer, uh, loves to smoke weed. Sabu, Rob Van Dam. That's Rob Van Dam. Okay, uh, had a, a farting gimmick for a long time. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, lady wrestler, um, uh, too long. Um, uh, Canadian. That think? is time. Only two points. I am Bloody afraid. Hell. Two two points for Sully. Two points for SP three. Uh, right. Uh, next up, it's going to be SP three uh, describing for Sat. So Sat, please close your eyes. Uh, SP3, this is going to be your first one. You have 30 seconds on the clock, starting now. Prize fighter. Partners with Seth. Yes. Uh, pass. Ladies and gentlemen. Paul Heyman. Yes. Money, million Dollar Man's Bodyguard. Virgil. Yes. Ain't no stopping me. Shelton Benjamin. Yes. Uh, little Sting. Uh, Darby. Yep. Uh, bigger Bianca. And that is <laughs> time. Can't kill. Can't that kill. is time. I'm afraid I'm not counting it, Sat, but very, very good. Five points oh. to Sat, five That's points to FP3. All right. Uh, so, Sat, you're going to be describing for Sean. All right. Are you ready to go, Sat? Yeah. Cool. Uh, Sean's covered his eyes. Uh, here is your first one. Your time starts now. He was a, the partner of the excellence of execution. Jim the Anvil Neidhart. Yep. He was a tag team partner for the Big Boss Man. Um, Ken Shamrock, Bull Cannon. Yes. He has letters like SP3. EC3. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> he bounces bullets. Ricochet. Yes. He's not Rick Rude. <laughs> I absolutely <laughs> wouldn't give you that, oh, even Jesus. if he got it. Four. Four he's for uh, Rick, Zap. Right? <laughs> he's? He's? <laughs> it's not Rick Rude. <laughs> he's not Harry Kane. He's just Kane. <laughs> 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 All right, very good. <clears throat> so, uh, four for SRS there. Uh, next up, uh, it's going to be SRS describing for Sullivan. Close your eyes, Sully. Sorry. All right, 30 seconds on the clock, starting. Oh, sorry, here's your first one. Starting now. One of the Sky Pirates, not Oscar. Oh, uh, um, oh, what's her name? Oh, uh, Kari Sane. Kari Sane. Okay. Yes. Tattoo song, Widow's Peak, Oof. former women's champion, had a spider in TNA. Oh, uh, Passed. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Her business, not Shelton, not Bobby Lashley, not MVP. Uh, Cedric Alexander. Yes. Right. Uh, now owns part of the Hardy family office. And that is two, oh, two for SRS, two oh. for Sully. All right. And that's it. That's it. that's all for Articulate. I just want to play a quick round of Articulate. It's a load of fun. Uh, we are going to be moving on to our final, our final round, which is uh, one of my favorite rounds. It is herd mentality. So get your papers and pens already. You are going to need them for this one. All right, folks. 
so uh, in this round, I'm going to be asking you to uh, answer a question or name something as part of a category. What you want to do is be part of the majority. You want to have the answer that everyone else has, basically. You win this by being a basic bitch. Uh, so, for example, if I say the best um, championship belt, and everyone, uh, like three people put winged eagle and one person doesn't, those three people are in the majority. They get uh, the points, which will be just simply uh, two points if you are in the majority. However, and here's the kicker, which makes this round a little bit poisonous. If you are ever the only person to give a single answer that no one else has, then you become the odd one out. And at the end of the round, you will gain zero points. The person who is the odd one out after the eighth question will have their score stripped down to zero. Not their overall score, that would be insane, uh, just their score for this round. And a reminder of the scores currently, uh, in uh, last place with 29, Sully. No. In third place with 31, Sat. In second place with 51, Sean. In first place with 57, SP3. All still to play for, because remember, you could get 16 points in this round, but they all count for nothing. From the last round, on the last question, you are the odd one out. All right, let's start. Uh, the first thing I'm going to ask you to write down, and we're all just going to write down and then show at the same time. I want you to name an intercontinental champion. I just want you to name an intercontinental champion. Yo, you are writing down what you think everyone else has written. If you are in the majority, you will get two points. If you are the sole person to give an odd answer out, you will be the odd one out. Uh, if you um, that may stick with you, you can still get points as the odd one out, but you'll stick with it'll stick with you until someone else basically takes that title from you. Whoever has that title on the last question will get zero points for this round. All right, has everyone written down the name of an intercontinental champion? No. Fantastic. Oh, no, no. Okay, we'll wait. No problem. Yes, I'm, I'm uh, done. All right. So I asked our contestants to name an intercontinental champion, and they said three, two, one. We've got The Miz, Honky Tonk Man, Honky Tonk Man, and Sami Zayn, which means two points to Sat and two points <laughs> to Sean. Very, very good. All right, so uh, even though SP3 and Sully both gave an answer that no one else did, they both uh, gave odd answers, so not one of them was the odd man out, if that makes sense. It basically has to be everyone but you. Uh, so next question. Would you rather fight Walter or Minoru Suzuki? Would you rather fight... Walter or Minoru Suzuki? Also, can't believe no one put Chris Jericho for that last question. Goodness me. <laughs> All right. Would you rather fight Walter or Minoru Suzuki? Uh, do we have answers from everybody? Great. Then please show in three, two, one. Mm. <gasps> Sean, you are the odd man out. Everyone put Walter apart from you. So everyone else gets two points. Sean, you are currently the odd man out. Would absolutely rather fight Walter than Suzuki. I just thought everybody else would think Suzuki because he's old. Nah. No, murder, murder no. grandpa. That's exactly. he'll fucking kill everybody. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I met him at WrestleCon in 2018, and I asked him, "Oh, can you like fake choke me for this picture?" He was like, "I don't fake," and take yeah. the, he told me to take the picture. <laughs> <He doesn't. laughs> yeah, I'd much rather fight Walter. 
I've got to say, I wow, I I I really thought more people would put Minoru because, like you no. say, he's, he's a, it's slightly no. older. But oh, all right, absolutely fair enough. All right, so Sean, you are currently the odd man out. You can still get points, but if no one takes that title from you, you will get zero points this entire round. Be a shame, man. Not like this. Not like this. All right. <laughs> so next up, number two, number three. Name a wrestling move beginning with P. Penis punch. <laughs> yeah. My oh, God, he's got a penis punch. <laughs> Good God Almighty, his <laughs> penis is broken in half. <laughs> he's broken his penis in half. Oh, my better. Oh. All right, so uh, I asked our uh, competitors to name a wrestling move beginning with P. Has everyone written one down? Yeah, yes. penis palm. Hence yeah. this. All right. Sh show in three, two, one. Show. Pile driver, pile driver, pile wow. driver, power bomb. Damn sure. Um. You are not a basic enough bit, Sean. I know, I know. <laughs> but I don't even know if he's doing it on purpose because he's lied so much. I feel like it's part of his game plan. How can he do study. this? How can he do this on purpose? It's true, Sonny. Let us be <laughs> this this is one of the only rounds there is impossible to cheat on. You cannot cheat in this round. Um, you'll find a way. All right. So Sean, still the odd man out. I can absolutely and... cheat at this game. <laughs> I can absolutely cheat at this game. The greatest non WrestleMania pay per view of all time. Uh, I'm going to head over to some old chats. I haven't done those in a little bit. Uh, Eric Nicholson says, not able to watch live, but it will make my day to have Barry Horowitz aboard, to have the Barry Horowitz of board games read my ultra chat. Seriously, Adam, you are to NRB what Ollie and Denise are to Quizzlemania. This is the best $10 I've ever spent. That fucking hurts that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm good at board games, Eric. Uh, Mayor of Painsville, Dan. Hey, Dan says, hello, you beautiful, 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 beautiful gentlemen and heroes of our time. I hope you're having an exceptional day slash evening. What are the sources saying, Sean? Is Cody Rhodes debuting on Quizzlemania tonight. Bless you all. I love you. Give us a scoop, Sean Ross Sapp. Yeah, let me just tell you right here and not behind my paywall, FightfulSelect.com. Please. Thank you. We've earned it. Uh, Caleb says, hey, guys, hope all is well with everyone. Question for you guys is when, uh, where can we submit T-shirt ideas? I have one called Best Mate, where it's Adam and Sully. Anyone going to play Elden Ring or give the new WWE game a try? Jam that jam and holla holla. Uh, yes and yes to those video game questions. Um, oh, best mate, Sully. Yeah, best mate. Uh, has everyone written? Everyone written something down? Yeah. All right, please. I've asked uh, RP, our lovely players, to name the greatest non WrestleMania pay per view of all time in three, two, one. All out. Oh my fucking lord! It's an uh... exact tie. <laughs> very, very good. Um. No points for anyone. I, I actually afraid. agree with them. I just thought everybody. Yeah, same, WWE same. I'm confused because <laughs> WrestleMania does that That's mean the game? No, WWE? thank you, thank you, Seth. You didn't get confused. We work together, Mocha Mondays, all day, every day. <laughs> very, very good. I mean, SummerSlam 2002 is an absolutely banging show. Yeah. Uh, so yet yeah, no points because there was a tie. There was no majority, uh, which means we move on to the next one. The wrestler with the worst hair. Mm. And Elise says, I need some Quizzlemania to deal with today. Texas declared war on trans kids. Can we get a trans lives matter and trans rights are human rights, please? A fucking men to that, by the way. Is a trans charity stream possible sometime? Thank you. Uh, we, we definitely can do a charity stream. We have entered into a, a deal with Surfshark for them to sponsor all of our streams this year. So we'd have to do a bonus stream, but that is absolutely possible because, yeah, we definitely want to do uh, more charity work with Quizzlemania this year or with, in fact, other things. Uh, for example, we did Sammy for Syria for the Saudi stream uh, just recently, but absolutely, I'd love to do more charity work. But it might not be for Quizzlemania. We'll try and find a way to, to fit more charity stuff into the year. Absolutely. Captain Huggle says, hey, guys, Snow's coming in, so my store's going to get real boring real quick. As always, hope the best for everyone involved. I hope that one day Sullivan will win championship gold. I asked uh, people to name the wrestler with the worst hair. Have you all given an answer, please? Yeah. Yes. 
All right, then in three, two, one, reveal. Oh, oh wait. There we go. Oh Are you God. fucking joking? Are you fucking <laughs> joking? <laughs> Yes, At yes, Kelly. Insane. <laughs> That's insane. You love to see it. All right. Oh, well, so, uh, so far, no points uh, for that question. Sean is still the odd one out. Um, we have down to three questions remaining. Question number six Worst Michael Cole call? Hmm. Worst Michael Cole call. Captain Huggle says, uh, Dirty Rich says, um, Dirty Rich here supporting Quizomania each and every quiz. Here to watch two strap Sean retain his title again. Sully, you are awesome as well. Respect to all. Sean, have you gotten a new step host yet? Have you gotten a new step host yet? Adam Tyson kissed his son on the lips. Sean, do you have a new step host yet? No, Denise is my only step host. Jake Baker says, no special request this time, Adam. I just want to hear you say my name with that sexy accent. Best of luck to everyone playing today. Fuck that fuck. Also, I just want to say, uh, Finn Brennan, uh, I did see your ultra chat, mate, um, about me telling a story about my mother and my one man play. Uh, I will absolutely address that. I'm just going to do it at the end because it's, I don't know. It's not a long story. It's just, it's just, yeah. It's, it's just a story. So I'll tell it at the end. <laughs> uh right oh uh finally finally not finally what am i talking about uh worst michael cole call has everyone got something written down uh no no uh i'm just going with a personal preference because i'm struggling he's had a lot of worse yes um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a roll call what a legacy for the lad uh all right everyone got something written down three two one show Oh, I absolutely four way tie again. <laughs> uh, I'm with Sully on this one. Actually, no, I you know what? I, it's, I'm not with Sully. The Miracle yeah. Kid. I fucking loathe that call. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty bad. The Miracle Kid. The Miracle Kid. Which one was that one from? That's when Daniel Bryan, Bryan. won oh, the championship. I've, I've tuned it out of my brain. It's awful. An amazing moment, sullied by that. Um, no points again we're moving on to the next question what is the best thing to eat while watching wrestling uh sean kc21 says hey adam tell your dad eric bischoff to lay off srs on twitter fuck that fuck and fuck that cuck uh sean are you getting into beef with bish he's he took issue with me posting numbers he's very nice to me he says a lot of nice things about me I can. I, uh, people have only nice things to say about you, Sean. Uh, yeah. Sad, si sad, Cincy local said SRS hoodie from where? Um, actually, uh, one of my friends, Hannah, share Delaware on Twitter, got it for me. I have no idea where she got it. It's awesome. Yes. Awesome. Uh, Thomas O'Connor says, "Hey guys, today is my 21st birthday, and I'm spending it here with you all. I've been watching you all since late 2016. You got me into indie wrestling with WCPW and into board games with No Rolls Bard. Subscribe to No Rolls Bard. Uh, I'm rooting for Sully like I do every time. BX for 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 life. That's a blast from the past. All right. So, what's the best thing to eat while watching wrestling? Everyone got an answer? Three, two, one, show." We got pizza, we got pizza, we got pizza, we got pizza. Everyone yeah. gets two points is the correct answer as well. Absolutely correct. I want uh, to say food. Food is the best answer, guys. You eat food by watching wrestling, but I knew it might F it up. So. I mean, I did put shit if it's WWE. <laughs> Very good. All right. The final question. The final question. Would you rather go for dinner with Val Venus or Virgil? Would you rather go for dinner with Val Venus or Virgil? Quick uh, plug here. Um, I released my interview with Virgil on Fightful Select when we hit 5,000 subscribers. It is the right. worst interview I've ever done in my life. I asked him about the Joey Janela match. He said, we'd sell out the garden. And I was like, oh, would you? And he goes, Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think that quite, I think I think that's quite funny. <laughs> it was, and that that was the best part of the interview. <laughs> that's, that's the only where... part you can share. <laughs> oh, amazing! Uh, right, has everyone written something down? Mm -hmm. It's one or two options. Three, Tough. two, one. We got Virgil. We've got Virgil. 
Oh, and it's a double split again, which means that, Sean, you are the odd one out. So your four points are deducted, which means our final score is as follows. In last place, he put up a good fight, Sully with 35. In third place, with 39, it's Sati Niangi. In oh, second yeah. place, with 49, it's Sean Ross Sapp. Yeah. And new Quizzle Mania champion, SP3. Congratulations to our GM Tony. Thank you. Thank you. I got it already. Y'all shipped it ahead of time. Y'all knew I was going to win. I appreciate it. Thank you to everyone. Thank you for Sean for being the Shawn Michaels to my Hunter Hearst Hemsley in December of 1997 and letting me win the European Championship. I appreciate it. DX for life. Um, and thank you for Sat for taking the bullet for me. And thank you for Adam for creating this show so I could win. <laughs> now, Adam, Adam. Where's my 250 grand for putting him over in this good housekeeping? Sean, not here. Sean, I not said here. I would not only here, show Sean. up here. Sean, not here. All right. We'll do this in we'll do, do we'll do this on we'll do I put him over in this good housekeeping match, and I said that I was only showing up if I got all my royalty money fronted to me. Why oh, did we let your contract expire? That was our fault. <laughs> let me pay you forward. F and fuck. Subscribe to Fightful Overbook. Yeah, some of the that. best content over there. <laughs> I, got, I got three shows over there. So go over there and uh, subscribe and make on some money for uh, him taking a dive for me. We have a new champion. The king is dead. Long live the king. And in fact, I'm going to put up our king's information right here. We are going to jump into our super chats and we're going to read those out. We've got three pages of super chats. We're going to read those to close out the night. Um, before we do, though, while we still have majority of people, let's get some plugs in. Um, SP3, reiterate your plugs, please. And we're going to go to Sat, then Sean, then uh, Sully. Well, you got you got True Hill Heat YouTube channel and Patreon. Uh, go over there, subscribe. Uh, we're trying to hit three thousand on our YouTube. Trying to hit those Patreon numbers, three dollars a month, extra content. You can also see me on the Believe in Pro Wrestling podcast with Rick Uchino. Good people over there. He he's a Becky Lynch fan. I'm a Ronda Rousey fan, so we usually don't get along. And Fightful Overbook. If you want to hear me talk about stuff that's not wrestling, like Degrassi dudes or anything not regarding wrestling with Jeremy Lambert tomorrow. I mean, no, on Friday in the morning. So check it out. Check out all three of those channels. Check out Sat. He's the man. And Greg Cherry for Quizzle Maiden. Yeah. Amazing. All right. Uh, Sat E. Niangi, tell us your story. I don't have a job, guys. My show got cancelled. So follow me at Sat Next to uh, eight time fan Quizomania champion, Greg Cherry. Get him there. Come on, guys. Hashtag Greg Cherry for Quizomania. Let's get him on the show, guys. He's eight time champion. Let's get him on there. Uh, and thank sure. you, SB3. I love you. Congratulations for winning. Uh, Sean Rossap. I also want Greg Cherry on Quizlemania, but FightfulSelect.com, that's how you can directly support uh, all the breaking news that we're doing. Uh, I know that a lot of you get to read it elsewhere pretty quickly after, but that's a good way to directly support us. If you want to directly support some animals in my local area, I'm doing cameos. I'll do goofy shit. I'll uh, cut promos on you. I'll roast you. Uh, but 100% of the proceeds go to local animal shelters in my area. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, sure, uh, Sullivan Brown. Yeah, well, yeah, you can follow me on, on the Twitters and the Instagrams. Go ahead, do that. But most importantly, subscribe to No Rules Bard uh, because we'd oh, be great if we could get to 80,000 very soon. We're so close. We're so close. So close. That'd be great. Lovely. All right, gang. Uh, so we're going to jump into our super chats. I'm going to start with our champs details on the screen. Make sure you follow him at True Heel SP3. Uh, Finn Brennan wrote, uh, Adam, can you tell the story you told me today about your mother seeing your one man play? I thought it was great. Also jam that jam. Uh, so I used to be a comedian. First of all, I used to be part of a sketch group called the Beta Males, which I was also with uh, with John Gracie, uh, who is part of No Rolls Bard. Subscribe to No Rolls Bard. Um, but one of the, the last thing I kind of did, we all sort of split up uh, as a sketch group and went our separate ways, all sort of doing one man shows. And my one man shows was called I Am Mr. Children Man. And I was playing a, a children's author, a terrible children's author called Mr. Children Man. Um, very, you know, just like wrote the worst stories. But his whole through line was um, that uh, he hated his mother. 
That was just the, I just came up with that as the spine for the show. This character hates his mother. And my mom came to see it. And before the show, I simply sat her down and I said, Mom, this show is not about you. I love you very much. Please be aware before the show starts, this show is not about you. Did the show. It went well. My mom came up after me and she looked me in the eyes and very, just very slowly broke into tears and said, I think I've just done something wrong. And I was like, no, mom. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just, we've all had our mothers see what we do for a living and be absolutely crushed by it, haven't we? Yeah. We've all absolutely. Yes. So that's my story about my mum <laughs> thinking that she was a terrible mother because I just happened to do a stupid character. <laughs> oh, my mum's lovely. proud of me. <laughs> Shut up, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's mum is proud of you, Sean, from what you yeah. <laughs> Every day. Why can't you be like that, Sean Rossap? <laughs> uh, <laughs> leave me alone. Look how many life. Patreon followers he's got. Do you have that many? I'm, Do you? I'm just saying twice as many as any other wrestling platform on Patreon. We'll get there, Sean. We'll get there. Uh, Jesse Venable says, The Quizomania intro hit. Greatest opening promo in wrestling to date. Sock puppet on a pole match is a must. SRS, we have a problem. You stop messaging my mom because if the thing, uh, because she still wishes you well and hopes you bring home the gold. Wow, I guess, uh, man, the timing of that. You're right. And no, I will not stop messaging your mom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Sadie Deganhausen says, hello, beautiful boys. Loving all the S's, Adam. I know my bestie will win it all again, but Sat has won my heart, so go get him, Sat. If Sully is fancy and kind, then what is Sock Puppet, Sullivan? Please answer via Sock Puppet silliness. All right, I'll see if I can do that. See if I can wake him up, shall I? Here we go. Wake up. Wake up. All right. Hello. I'm horrible. I'm, a, I'm horrible. Oh, somebody Sorry. wash me. Oh, <laughs> when oh, when, no. when was he? Has he ever been washed? Not in sock puppet form, no. <laughs> oh, how do you wash a sock puppet without destroying it? It's mainly felt. It's got a point there. That thing must fucking stand up by itself. That's <laughs> absolutely foul, Sullivan. It's actually fine because I don't wear it on my feet, do I? If I did, that'd be weird. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> King of Kings 8970 says, Adam, as an Ohioan, I advise you not to talk OSU, UC, ABS, Bengals, Browns, nobody gives a shit for. Uh, just Sean, the Bengals. Just the Bengals. I, I just give a shit about the Bengals. I'm from Kentucky, and um, yeah, we're practically Cincinnati, so I don't care about OSU or Cleveland or any of that other bullshit. Uh, Twelve loose leaves says paying uh, ten dollars to say thank you. I work in voting rights. Uh, I work in voting rights law in the U.S. So it's been a rough few years, but I found Quizomania a few months before the 2020 election. It was a true bright spot in dark times. Also, Dan Housen for Quizomania, get on board, Adam. Would love to have Dan Housen on Quizomania. Um, uh, X Red X says had a real rough week, and Quizomania is a highlight. Very happy to see Sat back. We love you. Also, can we get a collective fuck Greg Abbott? Protect trans kids in Texas. We are people. We will not lay down and be eradicated. Hashtag trans lives matters. You get an absolute fuck Greg Abbott from me. Thank you very much for messaging in. Uh, Shiva Wilding says, uh, happy Quizlemania. Adam, if it's not too forward, can we pencil Nemesis in as the annual Halloween BGC game? Also, can we please have Sat for Blood on the Clock Tower? His energy is infectious, and it would be pure cinema to watch him murder a whole town. What, what's that, Sooty? <laughs> <laughs> what's that, what's that Sati? <laughs> oh, I love to be on the show. Get me on there. <laughs> Be you'll great. be you'll be hearing from us. <laughs> what does this sock look like a ghost? No. <laughs> Why did you draw it like a ghost? What's it's with his eyes? It's, no. it's got a goatee, right? He does have it's, evil eyes. So I made my partner five minutes before we did the show. I went to her. Can you draw Mr. Sucko? Like I gave her a specific Mr. Sucko mankind was holding. And she did it because she's the artist. Her artworks in the background and stuff like that. So yeah, I can't I can't draw for shit. It would look maniacal. So she did a Mick Foley, Mr. Sucko. So okay. this is a, a variation, okay. a variant, if you will. She did a fantastic job. We could all 
agree. Uh, Nikita Lion Seat says, this is my first time seeing Quizomania live since I'm on paternity. Fuck that fuck. Hey, congratulations. Uh, yes. Quoth the Raven 79. So, Sully, it's been two months since Adam properly put you in his place. So I asked the question, have you finally seen the greatest Christmas movie of all time, Die Hard? And if not, Adam, could you put him in his place again? Uh, I have, I have. I watched it like the next day, and uh, still get messages on Twitter about it all, all the time. Good. Uh, Good. But now you can message Brooke about Jurassic Park. Uh, which has she still not there? seen it? Has she oh, still not seen no. it? No, she has seen it. But message her anyway. <gasps> message her. Anyway. Oh, good. Did she like yeah. Jurassic Park? She loved it because it's one of the best films ever made. Correct. That's great. Uh, Slam and Sammy Joe says. So is this the handsome chaps Quizzle Mania? Y'all doing trivia or competing on The Bachelorette? The only person we're missing to make this complete is Chris Van Vliet. I don't want to see any of these lovely chaps lose. All I can say is, F that F, boys. Well, <laughs> flattery will get you everywhere. Um, Aaron Barlow says, hello, Adam. A bit late, so I won't hear my old chat for a while. But what say hi? It brings me great joy uh, whenever you make that. I love wrestling smile. Uh, have a great day and jam that jam. Thank you very much, Aaron. Uh, Heavy Metal Chris says, shout out to the greatest wrestling journalist of this or any generation. The man that Dave Meltzer comes to for scoops. It's S. Ah, oh, S. This month of breaking stories got me subscribed to Fightful. You are just what I needed after a hard couple of weeks. Hashtag whole effing fuck. Thank you. That's very <laughs> nice. I appreciate that. Uh, yes. It, it is nice that we, we we regularly have on Quizomania possibly the best wrestling journalist in the world. It's very, very nice. Thank you. But, he, uh, but you're not champion anymore, so no. fuck you. Yeah. No. He's tag uh, champ. He's tag champ for one more belt. Oh, oh, that's true. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> me and Sat. Me and Sat versus him and RJ. There, we're doing it. We're we're doing Alex, it. Alex, Alex McCarthy. We're yeah. all daily boys. We all win together. So. War games. Uh, yeah. May says, hello, lads. So excited to finally catch Quizomania live for the first time in months. Kind of sad that my home province boy Tempest isn't here, but oh well, we still have some quite lovely boys. Anyway, SRS for the win and fuck that fuck. Nolan the Hybrid Evan says, hello, fellas. Sully for the win, of course. Uh, I mean, Sully, do you want to, mm -hmm. like, do you want to talk us through? Talk us through your game today. Oh, well, you know, I gave 110 percent out there. You know, the lads say, you know, I was, I was disappointed in myself. Obviously, I was disappointed. You know, we had we had a setback at the beginning with the Wi-Fi. I fell off the call, and then, uh, and then three seconds into into the round that I felt really comfortable in. That's it. I'm gone. I mean, my mind's gone. My head's gone. The answers are gone. And and also, I'm not very good at uh, wrestling trivia, which has been a huge issue for me in every single one of these. To be honest. Um. I can see SRS's empire crumbling now. Sully is evidently the Mick Foley of the situation because of the fact that everyone loves him. I have to know, what is everyone's favorite comedy gimmick? Jam that Jamhausen. Mm. Danhausen. It's my favorite comedy gimmick. Uh, Orange Cassidy, the first time I saw him, I just completely marked out uh, when I saw him in Evolve in New York. So, Orange. I think so. I'm, I really, really like Colt. Uh, just, just for the like the legacy of, of making funny kind of like Toriano as well. Yeah. Uh, but I, I think Orange Cassidy's had my favorite comedy match. It feels weird to call him versus Pack a comedy match. It was, but like it feels weird to call it that. But it's my favorite comedy wrestling match of all time. Uh, Santino Marella is a legend as well, and Wendy Chu mm. on NXT. She's doing really well. So oh, she's I, great. She's best funny. part of NXT for me, Wendy Chu. That's so ridiculous. I love it. Uh, Sully. Uh, Ms. Dow's Ms. Dow really made me laugh watching him. Like, Fucking great aunt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, and I actually really like the fashion police a lot. I thought they, yeah. Were, yeah, uh, they, yeah. they were really fun. Yeah. The Uso match is the second greatest comedy match, even though it was comedy on one side. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. When they're so changing good. into gears, when they're changing into outfits and stuff like that, and you had Tyler Bree sweeping. The he was the janitor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was great. That was really good. So silly. Uh, Diego in Zunza says, hello, beautiful boys. My birthday was 1.5 weeks ago. My friend's decorated with pictures of Keith Lee. Who would you like Lee to feud with post-revolution? Also, what has been your favorite commentary call from 2021 to 2022? Uh, anyway, uh, SRS mania forever. I would quite like Keith Lee to feud with 
Sammy Guevara, please. Yes. yes. As a result mm. of what happens at Revolution. Um, favorite commentary call from 2021. That's re I think it would be. I don't, like, I don't know. Like, it's not, I wouldn't call it iconic, but um, I, re I really like most recently just a, a JR shouting, where you been, Eddie, when Eddie Kingston comes back. I, don't, yeah. I, I find some of his, like, really per like, personable calls on AEW uh, really fun. Uh, when Hangman showed up uh, after yeah. months yeah. off, and it's like, he's back! Are, are you ready for some cowboy shit, so Savani? What do you say? Just like, it all, it all is exactly the right kind of thing to say at the right moment. Anyone else? The first it's Sting from Tony Schiavone when he when Sting came back, <laughs> yeah, it like it sent chills up my spine. That was so cool. Very good. Any any more advances before we move on, folks? Uh, Pat McAfee, man, he's been great. I like when John Cena returned, his call for John Cena, and also when Brock Lesnar returned, you know, the beast incarnate, the alpha male of our species. I mean, Pat McAfee is everything that what's his face, Corey Grave tries to be. <laughs> yes, uh, mm. yeah, um, actually, I you know what. I think that was one of Michael Cole's best call calls ever when Cena comes back. The, fa the fact his voice breaks, he sounds like a real person for like the first time in years. He's like, it's just, and, then Pat, yeah. and then Pat yeah. McAfee shouts, where? Uh, which I can't yes. believe he got away with. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> really good, Hope. really good. Uh, Gunarash says, oh, hello, you beautiful bunch of people. I've missed you all so much. All I know, uh, as I know this won't be read until the end of the show, I'm sure. Congrats, SRS, SP3, Sat, Sully. You deserve to claim slash retain the title delete as appropriate. Big <laughs> love, Quizzles. Uh, Captain Huggles says, follow up chat to say that constant disappointment is part of the Sullivan Brown charm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. That's so. Uh, oh yeah. You're not. You're not coming back from that one, Sully. <laughs> that, that's it for if, you, pal. If I ever became a dating man again, which I won't probably, but if I ever did, that would be on my Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> you can just hear the sound of your partner, just like. <laughs> you just, <laughs> you're in. Are you what? in her family home talking about your I Tinder am. profile? Great. I am. The door is locked, but there is an open window at the top. <laughs> very nervous. Very nervous. She will kill again. Uh, <laughs> awesome piano bass says hey adam i just watched quizzle mania 1 to 26 and saw 45 going live thank you all for the entertainment hopefully i'll get this one soon also thanks for getting me obsessed with cosmic encounters fantastic board game uh one of my favorite episodes we've ever done on no rolls bard amazing board game check it out uh fran uh fran chile says i'm glad aew is giving us what wrestle talk and cultaholic are too coward to give us adam versus adam also luke says adam ah. doesn't also luke said adam doesn't want dan Housen in quizzlemania why do you hate him we need him as champion imagine him and sully interact luke you know luke gets his little reputation for being a nice man which he fosters cunningly because he's also a shit stirring little fucker he constantly <laughs> makes up little rumors about people and then just does them on podcasts like apparently andy is obsessed with denise's feet or, or something like that like that's a that's a rumor that's going around courtesy of luke Owen. but that one is true that's the that's the difference that, here between me and that yeah, is yeah. the difference and he uh, told me that in confidence yeah yeah yeah, yeah he said that. <laughs> um but no i would love to have dan Housen on quizzle mania fuck you luke i almost i almost got him for the the tag team edition did you really he was one of the people i reached out to is him and rj were the only two i wanted oh man uh ten Roos, uh ten Roos said this is the silliest quiz of mania sully the southern bell sat the beloved and relevant man sp3 the happy and smartest srs the whole effing fuck did wale send you any shoes adam come on sully you can do it give us wale versus sam roberts part two he actually did we do actually have the shoes we are in the process of tracking down who the shoes need to be sent to but we do have currently they arrived before christmas we just we got really busy and we haven't got around to sending them out yeah we're really sorry about that uh but we do have the wale shoes and so we will hopefully be sending them out i will task someone with finding out that information God knows. Good luck to us. Uh, Chris Tornakian says, it's the New Orleans screw job. Sully, you have to rise above the hate and show these lads you're so much more than a B plus player. Love you guys and thank you for all uh, for all what you do except Sean. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. 
Uh, Benny Bear 84 says the only WrestleMania match I want is the grudge match of Sock Sullivan versus Adam Blamplate. Vince McMahon voice. This is such good shit. Question for Sully. What song did you sing when Adam lost in the first game of Zero? Fucking wow. earworm of a song. Get on board. It, that is uh, that is the Steptoe and Son theme tune, uh, which is like a 1960s British sitcom that mm, very few people would have watched out of our age. But yes, yes. Can you sing it for us again, Sully? Do, 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 do. What is the theme tune? Because I know there's a really catchy one. Americans, the Americans are the one I'm talking to. What's the theme tune to Step Foot and Son? Because that Stanford. was Stanford, Stanford and Son. That's it. Stanford and Son. Oh. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, Yoko Littner has donated ten dollars, saying, "Hey, SP3 and Sat, I have terrible news. There is a power struggle in our faction. Division has occurred between the members. Some back Nikki Ash, the longtime leader. Others back Serena Deeb and think Nikki is power hungry and wants new leadership." Laz, do you want to explain to uh, the Quizmania audience who don't know what that's in reference to, what that's in reference to? So when we were on Wrestling Daily, every day this gentleman would uh, would send us super chats and let us and update us that he was trying to create a stable with Nikki A.S.H., um, he he said he talked to Hit Row about getting her in Hit Row. He's talked to uh, Toxic Attraction, getting them in there. The Shield doesn't want to reunite for Nikki Ash. All types of stuff. He is great, hilarious, great to hear from you. Amazing, thank you so much. Um, Jason Gutierrez says, "Look, everyone, it's Seth Gamble, Sean." Uh, Evan Reich says, "Bold prediction: In six months' time, Cody Rhodes will be defending his twenty four seven championship on the Quizlemania pre show." Don't don't wish it into the world. Cody deserves better than that. Uh, I, laugh track. I've got a bit of something. And you know what? If this person doesn't like that I'm doing this, I'll refund them. But listen, I just got a cameo request and I need to do it on the air. It okay. is important that I do this on the air. Great. <clears throat> Hey, it's Sean Ross Sapp, and I just want to cheer up uh, Sully Bo Brown. I know he's on a terrible losing streak right now, but listen, your, your buddy Jesse White just wants you to know that this is going to be okay. Like, I know there's there's not that there's not a light at the end of the tunnel here, but it doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world, except for the fact that everybody you know is laughing at you. And I know that at times that can seem hard to overcome but look at all that i've overcome which isn't that much but still i've overcome it you're, you're here in new orleans uh the big easy but nothing's big or easy for you that's for sure um, i i'm confident that one day so that one day you will be able to win at something literally anything um, although I'm pretty sure it's going to be like, like some, some sort of weird gimmick reverse day that, that Adam does where it's like a loser's bracket or something like that. But I believe in you. And so does Jesse. Um, thanks Sully. <laughs> going to upload that right now. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, thanks, Sean, for uh, taking the time to do that. An oh, important thanks, message for yeah, an important guy. Thanks to Jesse. Thanks to Jesse yeah. White for getting that that cameo. But if if you want another one, I'll give you another one. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh track, oh, amazing. Says uh, question for everyone: Who do you think right now would benefit the most from leaving WWE for AEW? For me, it's either Cesaro or Ricochet. They're both completely wasted in WWE. Vince McMahon. <laughs> it's nice to get a, you know a new yeah new new surroundings freshen things yeah. up um, really shake the dust the benefit the most 
As in, who would like arrive and shoot to the top? I would have said Keith Lee before he AJ debuted. Styles, I think, mm -hmm. would because of all the Bullet Club stuff. We never really got him and Kenny Omega yeah. to to put a bow on that. Oh, you know, I want that more than anything now. Yeah. True. Shit. Good luck. Give me wait yep. at least a few years. Three million dollars. <laughs> Might that's be on the end the, after that. That's on the low end of what I heard too. I was I was conservative when I reported that amount. Uh, Steve Seuss says, "Hey Adam, have you ever heard of or played Book It? It's a tabletop RPG strategy game where you play the booker of a wrestling fed and book shows against competitors. Good idea for PFK. No rules barred. Either way, I think it'd be fun. I have heard of Book It. I haven't had a chance to play it yet, but I'll uh, give it another research and check it out. Uh, Roberto says, Gorilla Press here. Hey everyone, just stop by to say Team SRS for the win. Team Fuck That Fuck. Hashtag Dallas 2022. Jam donated ten dollars, saying my favorite night of the month. Thanks so much for the entertainment, lads. You're all legends, except Sean. Screw you." Well, there you go. There you go. Uh, Matty Mai Tai says SP3 brought it Ooh. back to NYC. Congratulations, brother. And Sully, you lovely Mick Foley impersonator. Sorry, America handicapped you so hard. We still love you, bro. Now I just want to see the feud of Sock Puppet Sullivan and Sock Ross Sat. <laughs> Sock Ross wow. Sat. Uh, Roberto donated saying Gorilla Press again, Fightful Family, fuck that fuck again. Thank you, Roberto. Uh, Van Twinblade says, Hey, Satin SP3, did you watch Bra uh, Black Wrestlers Matter STL? And if you did, did you hear me tell uh, Jar C that his mustache is stupid and he has no ass? <laughs> no, no, I haven't catched that uh, show yet. I need to watch that for sure. And I'll, I will listen out for you specifically. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm, I'm not currently on the show, so I'm not watching much wrestling right now there and brian door 95 says hi guys i hope you're all having a great day adam i'd like to ask do you have any interesting behind the scenes stories from wcpw that you can divulge um i will i think i've divulged this before but i will say just because while cody rhodes is in the news and cody rhodes is sort of like i don't know like there's a lot of here and there about kind of behind the scenes drama and whatnot, which I don't really, it's, it's my least favorite part of the wrestling biz, even though I know it's everyone else's bread and butter. Uh, but I do want to, uh, there's a really good story about Cody Rhodes from WCPW where the guy was like, I've never seen anyone put as much time and effort into his promos as Cody, like just takes after takes after takes, and just like trying stuff and trying to get it right. For us, an indie fed, because um, he was on this kind of huge kick and reinventing himself and huge amount of drive and like my god the energy just kind of pulsating off the guy um we had a wrestler who uh you know what he's a piece of shit uh alberto el patron turned yeah, up uh, intoxicated to one of our shows and had to be pulled from the card uh despite the fact that cody had already wrestled on that card uh cody put himself in alberto's spot and he says this uh, i i can't remember exactly what he said to so excuse me if i'm paraphrasing but i believe he said something to the effect of if you ever book him on any of your cards again uh you won't get me or anyone who respects my opinion to wrestle for you ever again and i was like you know what absolutely fair enough sir that's fine uh and that's yeah that's i i i you know like that's blunt and kind of intimidating but absolutely right like that's uh, a guy who's kind of really standing up for the locker room and resting etiquette in general uh so that's my that's my little behind the scenes wcpw and also my behind the scenes cody rhodes story i respect cody rhodes a lot anyone else have any behind the scenes stories they want to share because that was the last uh super chat but uh does anyone else have a, a cool behind the scenes story they want to share i got a cool behind the free. scenes uh story about alberto el patron he hit me up for an interview last year i said i'll do it i'll see if he takes any accountability i spent about 10 minutes on that interview and i said i ain't fucking airing this and i never Holy talked to him again wow yeah absolutely Ooh. fair later <laughs> <laughs> got no oh. got no time for him no time no sir him. all right that is our show that is quizzle mania uh sully yeah almost had him i was so close next time everybody <laughs> 
<laughs> Congrats. Uh, thank you so much to Sat. Follow Sat at, at Sat Next to. Uh, make sure you follow Sean at Sean Ross Sat. Make sure you subscribe to Fightful Select. Uh, follow Sullivan at Sullivan Bow on Twitter. Make sure you subscribe to No Rolls Bart. And congratulations to our new Quizzlemania champion, S. P3. Make sure you follow him at True Heel SP3 and everywhere uh, that he appears. Fight for book True Heel Heat everywhere. Thank you so much to our players. You guys have been great. Uh, it's been a lovely show, uh, and we'll see you next month. Bye bye, everybody. Happy Black History Month.